Wait until the clock starts. And hey, everybody, welcome to another episode of Friday Night Bricks. We are at episode 153. Uh, we are into spring. Um, I'm actually working on a castle, and I'm also working on, they've got the Lego Ideas ca uh, contest going right now, uh, Your Creations in the uh, Lego House. Uh, pretty cool. Um, the only thing right now that I, I, you know, I have one, I have one entry out there. I have one of my igloos out there. Uh, the Hope Castle Keep that actually is 12 years old or almost 10 years old, I rebuilt the inside of it, but because it is that old, they want you to build something new for the contest, which actually kind of makes me laugh a little bit because those people who have seen Hope Castle in person know how epic it is and how cool it is. And so my goal would have been to show, you know, the people on the other side of the pond uh, a little bit about uh, Hope Castle, you know, um, and that one being the oldest part is probably the thing. Now, I guess I can enter the memorial level for Turner, who's uh, who was the co-host of the show. Um, so I might have to build a new base for that. But in the end, I might probably just have to build, I have a gray base plate over here. I might build a new larger clover keep, uh, you know, of sorts, maybe just for the contest. So, but we'll see. It's one of those things where it's uh, quite entertaining. Uh, it, but the, one of the igloos is out there. So feel free to go out there and look. Um, I can probably actually, actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll actually find my creation. Maybe. And there are a bunch of entries. So if you're looking out there, there are, I think, probably three or 400 entries out there. I think submissions can be entered until the end of the month. Uh, there are three different, uh, I talked a little bit about last week. There's three different areas, architecture, minifigure, and nature. Uh, architecture is going to be like the architecture sets, the actual sets. That, okay. Okay, um, so the architecture is the architecture sets. Minifigure is a minifigure scene, and the nature is neat, you know. So, um, and I would say if people are doing it, make sure you read the size requirements or anything else. I mean, obviously, the Hope Castle's been kicked back twice. Uh, once because I didn't name it properly, and the second time. Okay, so here's mine. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the, put this in the chat. Uh, let's see, go back into here. So... So this is the uh, so that's actually I can show it over, but it's actually one of those things where you can you should be able to hopefully click on the link in the chat. Hopefully, hopefully it's a link. Um, yeah, link works. Link works. Okay, so I mean it should take you to the igloo. So the igloo's you know the igloo's new for the most part. I mean it, I'm, uh, in the end, I mean I'm. The, the whole castle, I mean, I spent a lot of time working on the inside. So the inside's all new because the outside, uh, the outside's 10 years old, but the inside's, you know, a couple weeks old. I don't know if I can appeal the decision without maybe deleting the fact that, you know, you know, the, the, the I mean, I guess I could rephrase it and say the keep is an old, the outside is older, the inside is brand new because with the lights in it, I didn't have room for all the inside stuff that's in there now. Um, but so that, or I got to rebuild a new one, which I might just rebuild it, but that's, I mean, obviously I can't do the clover. So the clover over here is too big. So the clover is too big of scale. I mean, it's gotta be, I think it's one, I think it's one and a half plates by one and a half or something. Um, 64 bricks tall. So I don't think it's two by two, two by two, I think is too big. I might have to recheck that and see if not, I can, I can submit that, but we'll see. So, um, other than that, um, not much else going on. There's a mall show this next weekend up in Green Bay, so I'll be taking the taking the the castle again. Um, obviously, the uh, I did work on a couple levels this week, so I do have two new ones. Ma well, this level's new. Maggie's level is up, so I have another lower one. So as you can see, the corners are a little bit taller, um, and there are there's a, one of the bottom ones has a stair in it, except. Which means I wonder, I need, I need to decide if I want to build this up higher too. So I don't know. I need to decide how I want to do that. The old one went as high as the levels did. So I might, obviously I have to, I guess, in the sense that they would have to walk off a ledge. So I'll have to do that. And that was what I was checking to make sure I had that over there. So and actually tonight, I guess this is kind of my build area tonight for the most part. So 
working on just taking apart the gray plate. Let's see how much the how oh, how much the camera stays up. So so are doing anything exciting these days, TJ? Anything? Nah, not really. Just still at school. Last month. So. Do you have any uh, any sets uh, on order or? being ready to be ordered so they're there when you get get home or, or not I've got um the the big uh march ninjaga set the catamaran sea battle waiting for me at home oh okay so that build and then i won thick and bricks latest giveaway because he does the weekly giveaway mm -hmm. and uh he's sending me the tremor track infiltration which is an ultra agent set from 2014 well, I think I got a couple of those. I had the tra the the treads on it, right, and the drill up front. Yeah, yeah I think I had. I didn't have a drill. It had two fists. Oh, oh okay, oh, okay. Uh, I th I I think I don't think I got that one. I had the one. I think I had the drill one. I got that because it had the the treads and yeah. stuff. So the Drillix, something. Oh, yep, yep. That's the one I had. Yep, yep. Yeah. So. Other than that, yeah, not really much going on. Um, like I said, I picked up some more plates, um, and obviously, I picked up, I picked up an old. You know, I did mess around at one point in time. It's kind of, I don't know if I really want to bring the bring the thing over here, but right there on top of that thing, there's a gray base plate, and that's like a miniature of the Hope Castle. But I don't think if I build that, that actually fits in the in the guidelines for what they were talking about within the contest. So. Uh, chances are that it won't be done. So, um, and in the end, I don't know if I'll even maybe do this tonight. Maybe what I'll do is build another. It's one of those things I got to think. If we get a lot of people in here later, and it's uh, and the conversation is going, maybe in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll just build another. I'll work on another uh, stem stem piece here. So, just because that's a little easier, I can put pieces in, and I don't have to be concentrating a lot. So. And my storage is still a disaster. I go out there a little bit, do a little cleaning here and there and everything else. And it's just, uh, uh, I was looking at the ice bears. I think my ice, I think my ice bear quantity is not quite as high as I thought it was. I thought I was at 800 and I'm, there's 40 plus ice bears that are missing in action right now. So I did find a, like, I did find a few more that were riding dragons and stuff. I don't know if, I don't know if I remember giving them permission to be doing that. So I'm going to have to. Ask him who gave him permission to be doing that. But uh, so, uh, yeah, so I need to figure out where they're all at. But they're all lined up out in storage already for the the next journey. So um, other than that, not much going on. Hopefully people are having fun out there, you know. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, there is. You know, the only thing I've seen so far on Facebook was a uh, Brick World Milwaukee in October. I don't know if that's, I mean, it's out there. I, it's on, I, you know, hopefully it'll happen. It'd be kind of cool, smaller show. Um, other than that, I really haven't seen many shows going on. I mean, obviously these mall shows are good. I'm guessing a lot of the uh, adult groups are going to probably try and shoot for library shows. Oh, I guess I know what I need to do. Oh, pull out my video for backlog. Um, and so obviously the link will take you to the, my, my submission to the one contest. The igloo is out there. The ice bears are carving, uh, an ice loo, you know, like an igloo, uh, pretty cool. I mean, obviously, I mean, you know, the, the keep would have been cooler. So, I mean, I need, I mean, I need to check the d dimensions again, but I don't believe, I think it's like, I want to say it's 32 by maybe 48 studs or something it's 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 like much of my stuff that's why i kind of picked a couple things but i mean i don't know if the other one's going to get rejected too so uh, i had pictures of the bar oh that's what happens i guess when the camera sits on top of the the mic it used to sit up here now i don't want to sit anywhere how does it just can't get enough so let's see what was I doing? Oh, I was getting ready to pull up a video, I believe. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. I bowled tonight and I freaking work today. So hopefully I won't run out of gas. It is entirely possible, but I'm hoping not. So let's see here. I'm going to drag it across. Uh -huh. okay, okay, it is muted already. Okay, so let me get me back to the screen here. So this will be this will be backlog busters for this week it's lego ideas so i mean for ideas i've got a few i've got a couple of the tron cycles Ooh, that's a nice one yeah i got two of those i haven't built one yet i need to build it i, I, I take i think i've taken it with me a couple times the bowling never did it um i have the the gift with purchase the the rocket ride i do have a research institute which is uh an old one, and that one was a that one was a tough one to get. Um, I do have two of the cars. I built one a while back. Um, let's see here, and, you know, obviously seeing parts of the collection. While I grab something down. I do have a Back to the Future car, DeLorean. That one is sealed. Um, I have a Ghostbusters, the original one. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got a Yellow Submarine. That was kind of cool. I mean, I mean, I didn't buy all the idea sets. I never tried to collect them all. Um, I also have a Doctor Who. The Doctor Who set I got as a as a present from the Inside Ideas team for being, I think, one of the top hundred people with ideas back when I worked for Lego for when they ran that stuff. Exosuit I got four of. Actually, I think I actually have five. I got one open somewhere, and then. The last thing I think for ideas was the women of NASA. That was just a neat set. I bought a couple of those. So that was kind of cool. So uh, I believe that is it. Just all kinds of other stuff in stores. I think I was scanning to see if there was anything else. Don't think so. No. Nope. So that's kind of it. So, I mean, is the chat moving or is the chat dead? <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing any chat yet. Okay, so the chat's dead. Okay, so I was just making sure I wasn't to make sure I wasn't losing my mind. So, um, so other than that, yeah, it's kind of things where you know that's pretty much. So I got my backlog. I, I need to start building sets. I haven't really built sets in a while, so I need to kind of figure out how I'm going to do that. I'm just trying to trying to always figure out how to do this stuff where I'm actually trying to plan the uh, the crisscrossing. I used to before I used I did used to use just the one by twos primarily in a lot of the bases and not a lot of one by ones, and so they weren't as sturdy. So I'm always trying to make sure I'm kind of setting it up properly. And of course, the camera is way off of that area. So it's kind of building. I'm building right back here, so. But, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, uh, I think everybody's just waiting for shows to start up again. And yeah, hope we're building. But right now, Lego Ideas has a lot of contests. So I definitely make sure you go out to the website and see that they've, uh, I think they finished a couple. And they also have the activities out there, too. I think they just announced, there was, I think it was a Ninjago contest a while back. I think they announced that recently. And um, so. Yeah, you know, that that or I need to build something that put it on the other side of the ideas and actually put it as a as a set submission. I just don't know if I've got anything that would work well for that. You know, I mean, I kind of also rather just have some of the clear stuff in the in the house and it would be kind of cool. So, hey, you know, I think I remember seeing that Ninjago one that contest a little while ago, but I didn't enter because I had most of the sets anyway. Yeah, I think it was 10 years of Ninjago, I think, was the... Yeah, it was, like, all the current legacy sets and Ninjago Gardens. I think I that was... One other incentive. 
Yeah, I think that was the contest though. Ten years of Ninjago, maybe build something or whatever for yeah. for that. So, um, I mean, if people live to be you know well into their hundreds, Ole Kirk Christensen would have turned 130 yesterday. So they, I saw that out on uh, social media and celebrating his birthday. So it would be kind of nice to be able to live super long, but uh, I don't know. I think with their population problems right now, I don't know if I don't know if we could handle everybody getting that old. But I think it'd be kind of cool seeing another another century. You know, as far as idea sets go from my collection, I have the Doctor Who one, which I know I bought off of Bricklink because <laughs> I I got into Doctor Who and realized I need to get that set. Mm. The um, I have the Tron Legacy one, which. The story behind that, me getting that, was uh, my mom wanted the gingerbread house, mm -hmm. but she also wanted that big Christmas tree promo that came out, and yeah. she needed to spend, I think, $20 more. Oh, okay. So she just bought me the Tron Legacy set. Cool. That was nice of her. And then yeah. I have the Ideas car, which yeah, recent promo. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did end up buying um, a couple more video figs the other day too. Just kind of, there was a case, a partial case. Of course, there was a sealed case up on the top shelf. But I, I mean, I still need to get rid of all the ones I got from uh, things. So anybody's looking for video figs, just definitely let me know. I got a few people looking for some stuff. People have reached out to me. Uh, I need to reach back to them, and that's kind of why I reached into that box because I think there were a couple figs that people were looking for that um, I didn't have a lot of so um, and some that might have already been spoken for so we'll see the Looney Tunes were announced I mean I don't know I mean I watched a lot of cartoons yeah. when I was a kid I might end up buying those um, just to have maybe a, a set of them um, I probably won't be uh, you know I mean, it's one of those things where it, you know, luckily they're, they've gone to 12, 12 figs in a collection, so it's a little bit better. Um, yeah. Makes the, the $5 price point hurt a little less. In the end, I think, too, I want to say I thought I read somewhere that they might have actually gone to bags on that one, but I don't know. I can't remember if I saw that correctly. And the boxes are fine. I mean, I actually think they need to, if they're going to keep the boxes, I think they need to go back, and I think they need to have, Mr. Gold's, you know, younger sister, Patty Platinum, make an appearance, you know, out there, you know. I mean, you know, you know, that would definitely be random, be kind of cool. You know, the add to the story of Mr. Gold and you know, have a have a sister out there. And I mean, in that in that instance, because in a box, it's truly random. I mean, you know, in the end there, just like my case, it was all messed up and didn't have a full set, two full sets. Something that a case like that might end up having only one set, and then you know. Like somebody like a Patty Platinum, and in the end that would be worth it because you'd have something rarer than two full sets, and I guarantee that would be worth it for most people. Um, you know, unless of course you're buying in the store and decide to only buy one row, and in the end, the, in the other row was one of those rare figs you might want to kick yourself. But um, I think I mean that would be kind of cool. I mean, definitely if they're you know trying to see if there's I mean because that stuff always is nice to help boost the. CMFs a little bit. I mean, especially with the price points kind of going up. I mean, there was somebody speculating that the, they thought the minifigs were going up again, but I think, uh, like they said, the, somebody said they picked it up a secondhand store, like uh, not so much a bricks and minifigs, but something like that. And, the, you know, obviously a lot of that stuff is always, you know, they're usually a buck more. So, yeah. I, I do need to go search through my Series 10s because it was funny because they had the, they had the, I think the Bumblebee or whatever. The old B from like series, I want to say series ten, in the, on their in their in their like display cases, and I was like, and I was like, are you really? I, I mean, is that really like like forty bucks or something? I got it marked at. I'm like, and they had like two of them, and I'm like, wow. I mean, I'm doing. Uh, I need to. I need to uh, go back <laughs> and look at my stuff. I mean, and see if I got a couple of those, and see what they're going for, like a bricklink and stuff. So. Because uh, that might have been one I actually did buy a bunch of, just from the simple fact that I thought it was a pretty cool one. Plus, it had that was a series of Mister Gold, so everybody was probably buying a lot more. Anyways, just trying to hope for, you know, maybe lucky out in that. Because librarian, librarian nine, 
Yeah, I have seven of the bumblebees. Well, so if that's going for a good pricey price, that's a nice one to have a lot of. So and I'm still organizing them, but like I said, I'm working on that contest. I was taking trying to take pictures for that. And I'm working on that mall show. So the, the CMF cataloging is taking a back seat right now because it was in the way on my mock table. So mm -hmm. even though I have a nice storage, it does get kind of messy and it isn't always a productive area all the time. So we have four people watching. Well, I have to play some music here. Hopefully we'll see some people in here tonight. Not sure what's uh, who's who's what everybody's doing tonight. Like I said, I am going up against all kinds of fun stuff always on Friday nights. So, no. obviously, hopefully, hopefully the 156th uh, episode adds lots of people because that's the one where I'll be giving stuff away. So I need to do my research on. Uh, I see if because I, I got to figure out there was uh, trivia. I got to see if I can do the do the contest. I got to figure out how Sarah Star uh, Starbricks did it. When she did, she, her, um, she did like a, a Google form. Oh, go, oh go, go, Google. Okay, I'll have to go look. I'll have to look into that. Then yeah. Google form. Okay. I'll have to go look into that. So just because I mean, I I was listening to a few of the episodes and doing it and kind of grabbing a few questions. I mean, so there's some out there that I've been kind of pondering to do and stuff. Just because I think that might be kind of cool too. I mean, in the end, it. It might help people kind of learn a little bit more too about uh, the show and everything too that way, and see who's been watching it. Like Juju, I think said he's been on to every episode. So, um, I mean, obviously it's tough to watch them all, and it's definitely tough for me to ever go back and watch them all because it isn't so bad for the first couple. First couple are only a couple hours, but the you know obviously the last ones have been stretching three, four, five hours. Those are those are a little bit you know hard to listen to, and just you know. Especially when I'm not driving around, you know, it'll suck up my uh, my my data. <laughs> so, but uh, and then I think I always forget to turn it on when I'm sitting around here. I'm probably trying to watch other streams. You know, I'll try and watch Hoosier and those guys and everybody else. So, um, but trying to figure out uh, the fig situation and all that. I keep finding all kinds of wild stuff in my collection. So. Yeah, so chat, chat is dead tonight. Yeah, with with the Looney Tunes earlier, I saw a post on Instagram today of Lego teasing the Looney Tunes CMF, but it's out there. It's so amusing because it's it's out there in stores already. And yeah, well, I mean, probably it's something that maybe isn't supposed to be out yet. Possibly too. It might yeah, be probably than, that somebody has. Um, put out early i mean it, it, you know it happens i mean if they get it they might put it out i mean and I, which sucks because that's a licensed thing so i mean that one you really don't want to mess up and then have them pull it or something you know so i mean i did i did i did for anybody you know um i, I actually belonged to band for the the one group and so i did post recently this last week the uh the uh elf Clubhouse did come back into stock for those people who were looking for it. I don't know if it's still in stock, but it was in stock the other day. Um, definitely uh, look into that. Um, I was looking at Vistaprint. I might be trying to get um, maybe some door magnets and maybe some new business cards. So door magnets. I might think about that while I'm out driving around. Maybe to see if I can promote the show a little bit. So uh, hoping I can. I need to kind of talk to some of the other guys that are here in Wisconsin, figure out how many other Lego talk shows we have here on youtube from uh, that from the great state of wisconsin so i know if i you know if i you know i mean i definitely want to put like you know a you know one of or something wisconsin lego talk show on the side or something so um but kind of see if i can uh, boost that a little bit yeah maybe, you know i mean it sounds like now when is uh is there uh, is there an april day coming up coming up i mean, maybe it's in may i can't remember what they were saying I'll see if I can find out. Because I, I think Hoosier and those guys were talking about, and maybe hopefully he can, maybe hopefully those guys will pop in. They were talking last night about a, uh, you know, a, a get together, I think, in May. And maybe that was when they were referring to April Shopping Day that, that Saturday, which is, I think, at the end of May, I think, is when they were talking. So, um, but, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last night was a good night of bowling. I listened to the stream a little bit. I left my earbuds at home so I couldn't listen, listen, which kind of sucked. I thought of that as I got to the bowling center. I'm like, oh, man. So I could I would my listening to the show. My bowling was really good last night. I bowled tonight. Bowling was okay tonight. I actually hit the target score what I was trying to hit last night. Tonight, but was well over the target last night. So, so let's see. Make sure. sure. And I think we should have no internet issues this week. Uh, the My mom's router for Spectrum actually died, I think, actually. It was close to death, I think, last week when we were streaming. And then I went up and I think I, I called on that Saturday and I reset it. I didn't I didn't reset it while they were on the phone. I reset it like uh you know before, after, and the <laughs> the internet, the World Wide Web icon never came back up. It was red the whole time. So mm. so but yeah, so we should I just have a new one. So we should be good this week. Shouldn't lose, shouldn't lose, because that was probably it was always me and guessing that was it it'll be better if it was that than mice chewing on cables or something so did you find it no yeah no no it's fine i think it might be may if hoosier and those guys pop in they'll know because i can't believe what's because it's april now so i can't believe it'd be now then so maybe that's what they're shooting for trying to get together and i think they're shooting for nashville i think is when they were i think is where they're shooting for the the uh, a full get together, so I don't know who's planning going. I mean, that's that's a trek for me. So, and I think they're only maybe doing. Uh, <laughs> they were joking about Saturday and Sunday, but I think they're maybe thinking maybe just maybe I don't know Saturday. I mean, it's a trek for me. So, I'd have yeah, to that's see. a bit of a trek for me too. So, oh, because aren't you in Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Well, you never know. I mean, you know, if if there's enough people wanting to go, I mean, we could just kind of. Swing by, pick a few people up. Hey, hey, road trip! We're going on a Lego road trip. I have to make a few signs for the side of the van. Lego road trip. <laughs> Watch people go, what's a Lego road trip? Oh, you've never been on a Lego road trip? Oh, I can't tell you. It's, it's like going to Vegas, you know. What happens on a Lego road trip stays on a Lego road trip. We can't we can't go in any more detail. So this is so funny. If you look at this, you look at this, I got all these tiles in here, in this thing. You know, look at this. And they're all in yeah. here. They're all in here. I don't know if I can get the camera to go that far. And look at the gap. Look at the gap here on the end. It's like, it's literally, yeah. it's least. It's at least a brick. It's a brick gap, at least. In terms of vertical. It, it won't fit another one because it's lined up. If you look at it, it's lined up with the tiles. It just, there's, you know, for some reason, tiles have a little bit more width, just a hair more width to them than the, the bricks which is kind of weird because mm. you put the tiles within the bricks and so i don't know it's kind of weird it's just weird but it makes it interesting when you're trying to build stuff and push it together so yeah. wonder if i can get a so it's too wide it's too wide for a brick so i think what i can do is i wonder if i can do a brick and a tile i wonder if i could stick something in the end here to keep it from sliding yeah one to say Speaking of things coming out early, mm -hmm. uh, Ninjago season fifteen is starting to show up. The uh, uh, I think it's airing on some sort of network in Canada, mm. in English. Oh, okay. So first two episodes of that came out last weekend. And I expect the next two will come out sometime this weekend. Mm. Well, they are talking too about. Uh, there's been a bunch of the posts on Facebook and stuff. Lego Masters season two starting in June. So I'm sure. Everybody be looking forward to that. Um, and obviously, what's funny is the first joke out of everybody's mouth is going, you know, there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of like YouTube people and stuff that've been awfully quiet lately. And I'm just like, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, I mean, in the end, it could be anything. And in the end, who, you know, it, you know, it, it, I mean, you, you know, I mean, for those of us, you know, you watch the show and stuff, you don't want to ruin the drama, anyway. So it's like, you know what? I mean, who cares? So they're quiet. I mean, you know, that's probably. I mean, you know, I mean, to me, you know, for those of us in the community, I mean, don't ruin it. I mean, just, you know, let it, let it be that and just kind of keep it going. And, you know, and in the end, it's one of those things where it'll be, you know, that much more exciting. Actually, let's see, is that going to, is that going to work? I'll we'll find out when it happens. Yeah. I mean, in the, in the end, I mean, you want, you want the show to be awesome and you want the show to, 
to keep going. So you want the ratings to be good and everything else. So in the end, it's something that it benefits everybody. So you just want to kind of, uh, you know, I mean, just, you know, keep on the down low. If you know somebody's, you know, been quiet and whatever, you know, share it in the, in the post shows of the streams, but don't show it in the live streams of the show. That way, you know, people aren't speculating all the time about, you know, kind of what's going on. Here. So well, in the end, is this going to work? I hope this is going to work the way I want it to work. I guess we'll find out. I'm trying to figure out if I can just go up this and see if it'll slide. Uh, yeah. But uh, I'm mm. I'm glad the Ninjago season is coming out before the set's release because I can see all the vehicles that they're going to make or could potentially make, decide which ones I like, and then buy those. Whereas in seasons mm. past, I end up buying the stuff before the season comes out. Mm. And then I find out it's completely useless in the show. Mm. Well, I mean, I guess, I mean, in the end, it's, I mean, it's all about, I guess, having some of the, some of the parts and some of the techniques and some of that stuff too, I guess, you know, so. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the goal. Like. And that's kind of the goal is, you know, in terms of, you know, building stuff and whatnot is kind of to build the sets, learn the techniques, and then, uh, you know, build your own mocks and stuff, you know, in terms of, you know, perfect examples like the, the contest right now on the, on on the Lego house being, you know, obviously, you know, trying to build stuff. Obviously they don't need, you know, you know, uh, rehashes of themes, but there are a few Ninjago ones out there. I don't know what people did like a Ninja. Oh, really? I do. Oh man. That did not go over very well. Too much tension, too much tension in it. Freaking. That's the only other problem with this is this sucker just does not, it does not work very well. Probably what I need is I probably need. I need some tiles, but I don't like it. white, yeah, white one by eight tiles. I had some. I don't know if I have them here or if they're out in storage. Well, let's see here. We'll try this. We'll see if this works a little bit better. I need at least one tile. I got a couple. I got some stuff I might sort later, too. I got some stuff from the thing. So, I mean, I almost, I'm almost tempted just to kind of email the, the, or respond to the thing, even though I don't think the ideas team would even respond and just say, you know, I mean, is there any chance that, you know, just because I think the, did it again. No, I guess I can't do that. I guess I got to have that free moving stuff. Dang it. And another mess. Dang it. Okay. That's not going to work. I guess I've never really had too many problems with it just free floating anyway. So I guess we'll have to do that. So, oh. Dropping clear plates to the ground. So, yeah. but other than that, yeah, not much really going on. I mean, it's like I said, I bought the I bought the Elf Clubhouse. I bought one. I mean, I've been buying two of all the holiday sets, but I mean, if I can't get another gingerbread house, kind of for me to build. I mean, because that's kind of the stuff I've actually been collecting to just collect. That's kind of the one series I have everything going back to the beginning. If I don't, if I can't end up getting another gingerbread house, I'll, I, I'll just collect to collect, but I won't collect to build. Because I got enough white, I'll just build my own custom ones, which, you know, I probably should do anyways at some point. Um, but chat is awfully quiet today, guys. What is going on? Everyone's people, lurking. Everybody's lurking, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I might have to without everybody without everybody <clears throat> here this week, it's kind of those things where I might need to might need to frickin' uh play some play some music a little bit in the background. I've been Just, looking. Hmm? I've been looking at the Firestone mech. 
recently. That that was the Ninjago mech that was kind of half red, half gray from last year. Is that a, was it a big one? Yeah, it was pretty big. Seventy dollars set. Oh, I think that was the one. I think I found for maybe that was the one I found for like thirty seven or something at like one of the WalMarts or something. I think maybe. Hmm. I think maybe. Yeah. Um, I might even have a picture on my phone. But it, it was a good one, right? It was red and it stood up. Yeah, it's red and gray. So like the what's that? The right side of it's red, left side of it's gray. Fortunately, I need to go through my pictures. They're deleting some stuff. I got way too much crap on here. Because <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I haven't really been looking too much. Just because I mean, it's just there's too much out there, and I just can't afford to have it all. Um, oh, maybe what's it called, Firestone Mac? Yeah. Did you already get it? No, I haven't gotten it yet. Well, if nothing else, if nothing else, I've got one. It looks like it's this guy, right? Ooh. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Well, if you need one, let me know. I mean, I, I bought it cheap, half off or whatever. So I got it. I mean, I bought it. So in the end, you know, if you need it. Uh, there's no guarantee I'm going to have it. It's in my backlog. <laughs> but, I mean, I was actually going to maybe do some mechs for the ice bears and stuff and never really kind of have done much with that. You know, obviously they've got the, the one I built last week, the one they, that the Chima set they had. Um, I kind of want a riding, I kind of want a riding, like, polar bear type kind of thing. I've seen a couple floating around. That's probably what I should try and build for the contest, but um, yeah. I'll if have to. If you want mechs kind of in that Firestone mech style for the Ice Bears, mm -hmm. uh, that the newest mech, Zane's uh, Titan mech, would probably be better because it's more of the color scheme. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things I was buying just all kinds of, I think I even, I mean, uh, I, I just had lots of mechs over time, I think, and I bought even like the old Robo Attack one from Agents. I think I'm selling that one, but uh, um, I think once I got the Ice Bears and started seeing stuff, I mean, I was kind of, ah, you know, maybe they could use a, a mech of sorts, you know, just to kind of offset the, you know, the balance of power and whatnot. But in the end, I don't think I've really done uh, too much with those. So actually, I think I might have messed up on this setup here. Oh well. This shouldn't have been like this. Uh, the Ninjago mechs are very cool. And besides the movie ones, the Firestone mechs is the only big one I don't have. God, yeah, I think I did. I think I messed this up. I don't know if I can pull this apart or not. <laughs> I want to just do. I have to start the whole damn thing over. Dang it. Because I go. I should go this way next, and that won't do me any good. I, I messed up big time. I guess we'll just start over. It sucks. It sucks. That's okay. It's all about it's all about that perfection, I guess. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's also since I only make it four tall, I don't really want it to make it five tall or super tall. That you know, in terms of, I mean, it uses a lot of pieces. I guess actually, when I'm doing since I'm doing this and starting over, I can actually probably go back through and actually. Um, Maybe re see now these down here. No, these are still off. Yeah, yeah they kind of they kind of suck. That's that's not good. Huh? Interesting. I don't know what I did wrong here. So yeah. Other than that, I just kind of, I've been listening to a little bit of Brick and Nick. He streams a little bit on, uh, I think it's Wednesday or something, so I'll listen to him a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I even – oh, you know what? I didn't even hit Kevin's stream today because I had a trainee with me, and I, I got done so freaking early I spaced out. I spaced it out. 
Didn't even listen to him today. Kind of spaced it out. Happens. But, I mean, in the end, it's, you know, it's a drawing stream, and he's done with the Lego, so we won't see him lurking in this stuff, but, um, I don't know, I don't know where, where he is tonight. Everybody, that, everybody's got stuff going on, and they're just trying to have something to listen to, but they're not doing it. I mean, that, or, I mean, I guess I can, I guess I can look at this and just see. No? we got five people watching. I was just gonna see, yeah. And the chat's the chat's only my chat, so it's like no one's talking. So, so maybe people are watching that don't actually maybe have YouTube accounts or or are just lurking and don't want to say anything. So that's fine, no matter to me. Uh, but you know, so I played some Minecraft with Red Brick Dad uh, yesterday a little bit. Yesterday, the day before, we played a little bit. So more building and stuff i mean wow that was good slinging lego plates all over the place Whoa, what happened there moto says yeah we're lurking oh, it's Hello, moto. we're lurking stuff going on i guess you know that's cool well thanks for lurking you know yeah just you know Make sure if you're lurking, just make sure you're not getting yourself in trouble for lurking, you know. You got the brick orphanage also in the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, oh, he's uh, lurking while pulling orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got Jeff in the chat. Oh. He's going back and forth between taxes, pay, playing Neverwinter and working on developing my own game in Unreal Engine while listening. Oh, That's right. a lot of tasks. I still need to do tax. I need to do my taxes yet too. I started doing them, and there was something. I had something wrong, and so I, mean, I have to go back and finish that. So, yeah, kind of one of those things, you know. Willie's lurking. Yeah, lurking with lurking. That's fine. You know, I just as long as you know, as long as if there are people watching, and I'm not, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I just want to make sure I'm not, you know, ignoring people or ignoring questions and whatnot. You know. I'm luckily I'm, I'm building in a sense that I can actually, you know, look, build and still look up, you know, I'm not uh, super dra distracted like I have been previous weeks where I'm kind of building over here and I'm, you know, not really turned towards the screen. So I just don't want to alienate any of my viewers. So. Yeah, so I mean, yep, yeah, so definitely the one thing is if people have mocks that they want to show off, you know, just definitely uh, go out to that. And the link was at the top of the of the top of the broadcast, too, in the chat, so, of the, uh, of the igloo. Actually, I, don't, uh, I don't know if anybody, I don't know if, how many had uh, gone and uh, checked it out, but this is the, so... Mm -hmm. So, no, everybody's owned up, Brett. So everybody's owned up for lurking. Hello, Brett. So that's that's the that's the link to the the uh, ice loo that's out on the ideas site. Obviously, like I said earlier, the the original Hope Castle keep, which I took pictures of, was rejected because I'd said it was ten years old, and I I guess they wanted us to build new mocks. I mean, obviously, it's one of those things where. I mean, it's it's been displayed at Brick World, but anybody across the pond hasn't seen it. And yeah, it's new to them. And, and technically, the inside, the inside of the keep is all brand new because um, it always had LED lights in it, so it never had anything on the inside of the keep. So, um, in essence, technically, I, I guess I could resubmit it, pull out the ten-year text, and just say, you know, it's something that was built and that has actually been. Um, or has been modified, I guess. Maybe that might have been the proper term. You know, but I guess it doesn't really matter, I guess. It don't really matter. We got Dreadnought in the chat. Welcome, Dreadnought. Orphanage is one of the Whistlug members, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Up, up north. So he's, so he's sorting orders for his Bricklink store. It's always good. Yeah. Get people their brick, man. Obviously, I've been looking at uh, other stuff, you know, maybe looking at stuff out on uh, Bricklink, looking at stuff for maybe uh, sig fig parts of guests of sorts. 
And actually, after I saw my ice bears, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could have spared, you know, a little bit of those, but I don't know. We'll see. Don't know if I want to spare with any of those poor guys. Let's see this, this. Okay, I'll just do this. So, other than that. Oh yeah, this is the this is the Dawn song from uh, Shamalu Music. I've used this a little bit. So. Use this in a couple of the videos, a couple of the Hope Castle videos. So, but those people who've joined, if you didn't see earlier, this is the this is the this is the current castle configuration. Or the keep, anyways. Uh, I actually did build uh, another level to get Maggie's level up high. So her level is now above the walls. And then I built another back section. I'm working on another stem. And then it's sitting on plates. It actually needs to be, it needs to have Mills plates built by next week. Hey, Hoosier, how's it going, buddy? What'd you guys, uh, what'd you guys decide last night? Hello, Hoosier. You know. And those that missed it, I finished with a 731 last night for bowling, and I had a 650 tonight. Not quite as good, but I ate I ate fr uh, Friday fish in the in, at the end of the first game, and my my game suffered immensely. So, so we're gonna just kind of we're gonna. I actually had made a mistake, so I would actually taken apart a bunch of the. Uh, bunch of the sections in here you can see them kind of here I took a bunch took apart a bunch of the sections and so I actually uh, um, I just redid it a little bit I'm trying to make sure I get this correct for the way it actually goes because I alternate I want to make sure my when I'm doing the crisscross it's actually working the way it's supposed to work and not wasting not wasting plates So now that you know, <coughs> chat's waking up. I okay, got nine people watching. Sweet, 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 cool. Welcome everybody. Yeah. So this is episode one fifty three. We are fast approaching the three year mark, which will be episode one fifty six here at the end of the month. Uh, I need to dig out more door prizes and whatnot, of course. So that'll be kind of the next thing. Oh, and then of course I did show off earlier. I did get uh, did get this today, along with Ooh, I, space coin, space coin, and salamander. And then I ordered a couple pol ordered a couple poly bags. You know, yeah, ordered the satellite they had. I probably have a probably have ten or twelve of them already, but I ordered a couple more. But yeah, the coin I ordered, I mean, I went out that day. I think I got out there like when people were talking about being out. Earlier than when they, when everybody thought it was out, it was out earlier. So I mean, I got it and ordered a couple things. We'll see. Worst case, if it's something that I feel I can part with, I'm not going to be one of those eBay scalpers. It'll be something that will probably most likely, because this is the kind of person I am. If I get rid of it, it might be donated. You know, which will make Willie kind of Willie's Willie think of it. It's a Willie thing. Maybe be given away for a whole, for a Brick World Chicago charity auction if i give it away that would be where it would go so hello jesse hey jesse how's it going buddy so yeah so if i if i were to if i were if i were to give away 80 space was obviously one of the themes i played with a lot when i was a kid so there's not a guarantee it will but if it did that would be probably where it would go to where it would maybe raise good money for a good cause i mean that's kind of you know i do have a signed munchkin game one of the special ones that um that uh, Steve Jackson did. I mean, that I got one of those that signed that <laughs> I had signed back right before the pandemic hit too. Uh, that was going to go back for uh, one of the brick worlds for one of the cherry auctions. So um, no, actually dreadnought. I don't live in Illinois. I actually live in Wisconsin. <coughs> I live in Illinois. Yeah. Titanium lives in Illinois. So uh, 
I'm guessing, I'm guessing, is that the one you were talking about last night? Let me check. Let me see. Oh, mini VW. Let me see what my brick set says. I'd still have to check my storage. Brick set says I am down to two of them. I did have a bunch at one time because that was a gift with purchase, and eventually we sold those in the store like three or four months after they had been given away, and we had extras in the store. We get, we sold them, and so I bought a few. So, I mean, I had a few, and they did sell for a pretty penny back in the day. So I might. I'll have to look. Mega Core Magnetizer. What is that? No idea. But it sounds cool. It does sound cool. I don't know what it is. Uh, Dreadnought, I'm... I'm in a uh, northern suburb of Chicago, near where uh, Brick Road Chicago happens. At yeah, least when I'm at home. Yeah, up by Schaumburg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm a couple what? hours from that. I'm north of that in New Scan. Oh, Mtron. Oh, oh, that's nice. cool. Yeah, yeah. I when mean, that. Yeah, go. Sorry. When I'm not at home, when I'm at college, I am a couple hours away from Chicago. So, so. A couple hours south. Roughly. I'll let, you know, Willie. I'll let you know, Willie. Um, Mtron's cool. Mtron's always a big, uh, big theme for in the dark at uh, Brickworld. Yeah. Isn't the Mtron? Mtron's the red, yellow, right? Yeah, I've got two Mtron figs, I think. So I was gonna say, definitely, if you're looking for, and I don't know if I have any handy. If you're looking for any of the, hey, Yvette, welcome, welcome. Dreadnought, if you're looking for any of the yellow jewels, the translucent ones, let me know. The ones that glow rather nicely in the under black light. I don't know if I have any with me. I had some. They might all they might have gone back to storage, but I have some of the trans neon yellow ones, the jewels. I have bunch, bunches of them. Um, oh, these guys, here we go. I gotta see if I got my lights. So I got a bunch of these dreadnought dreadnought if you're looking for stuff for your display. So let's see here. I'm gonna make myself big screen. So I got these guys. So oh actually it's gonna be tough with the black light. With the black light, maybe. And just so they actually they do shine. So so these are the glow in the dark ones or the under the black light. So these trans neon ones, let me know. Let me know if you need some of those for your Mtron stuff. You know, I've got lots. I bought back in the day, which made everybody laughs. I actually, uh, I actually bought a case of them, and so that's about like seven thousand or so jewels or something like that. So I think I've sold. I think I sold a few up at a uh, up at. Uh, Bay Beach to one of the resellers, one of the guy, one of the vendors up there. I think last year when I was up there, but I do have a bunch. So. And that's I think you know those look good under the black light. So if you're using black light with your M trying, let me know. Let me know. Yeah, I got two M Tron figs, and I'm pretty sure they're just from this mini fig pack. Oh, Hunt for Blood, welcome, welcome. Oh, you mean what the CMFs? No, it was uh, this minifig pack from oh, okay. yeah, yeah. 1991 because I got a bunch of old sets. Nope. Oh, wasn't, yeah, wasn't that uh, wasn't that pol have we had? Oh, we didn't have. Didn't we have one in like a CMFs lately in the last few years that kind of looked almost like an Mtron? Wasn't there one in one of those set, one of the series that was kind of like that? I thought. I don't know. Thought, or something like that. I thought he was or could pass as an Mtron guy. Uh, let me see if I go back to the CMFs. I've got see. um. That minifig pack from 1991 had Space Police 1 fig, Blacktron 1 fig, two Blacktron 2 figs, and two Mtron figs. I'm going to say that's the latest one this year. Uh, um, I'm confident I don't have any sets with Mtron because I didn't find, because I looked at all the sets and I didn't find any pieces that, that matched. Oh, the Galactic Bounty Hunter from. Uh, oh yeah, that was um. That, that kind of Blacktron. Yeah, from series. What are oh, yeah. I never got one of him, and I still want to. I want to get multiple actually. Series nineteen. That one, I think I might have only gotten one of him. 
And that one I was out feeling a bunch of stuff. That one I and that's kind of the thing is it's funny. I always grab the ones that I mean I think that was the one I got I grabbed a bunch of the dog sitter and a bunch of a couple of the certain ones. So it always makes me laugh because then it's like never quite grab the ones that everybody wants. It's like damn, so yeah. So welcome everybody. This is another episode of Friday Night Bricks. I have just a music, a little bit of music playing in the background just because we don't have a big we don't have a big panel this week. We had we did have one last week. Um, but those people, you know, if you scroll up in the chat too, I did post a couple things. They have that uh, your mock in the or your creation in the Lego house and villain. They have a contest right now going on. I am pushing for that. People definitely go out. You know, if you've got some stuff, they do kind of want something new. It seems like, which kind of is unfortunate because um, obviously the Hope Castle has been around for so long that um, I do rebuild it. But most of my modules when I rebuild it are too big to to go in there i have an old module that would fit so but i might i think i'm i'm thinking of doing uh, at least maybe what i'll do is maybe build a new base maybe build a new like bottom level make a short tower and just put in uh this one is new this one is new maybe pay pay tribute to uh turner and then obviously you know put uh you know put this one above it you know turner's level for the you know, so. so might do that, Mister Mister Brick Freak Three. You know, so so might do that. Maybe make a small one. Oh, there went the stairs. Stairs fell out. Oh, oh goody goody, the stairs fell. So, um, but other than that, I'm just kind of working on a working on a, a stem, uh, so I can get another level of stem up there on the on the keep. Did find a bunch of my Technic bricks today. I didn't bring any, so I won't be building mills tonight. But I need to do that too. So yeah, I mean, I think we're still kind of pushing shows. Uh, you know, small shows. Uh, a couple mall shows. We have a mall show coming up. I think uh, up in Green Bay, and then I think the the Green Bay area lugs doing a. We're going to show up in the peninsula too later this summer and I think July. So, oh, yeah, you know, all you do is remind me. I probably email you. Don't you email it? Your email probably doesn't work. Is that what you're trying to tell me, Brett? You know, you got a flawed email. That's probably what you're trying to tell me, right? Now, I wanted to say with the, um, I was planning on building an army of that new space police CMF. Yeah. But I've kind of changed my mind now, partly because they're expensive. And For which one? The the new space police CMF. I was going to build an army of them, but they're expensive. So I think I'm just going to get one. And then as part of my space police central, which I plan on expanding eventually, it's going to be like a little display, like the next generation armor that's coming as, so, well, yeah, as, so, as well as like the original on display as well. Cause I have a few of those. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. So the space police guy. Yeah. I think I got a yeah. couple. Oh, I got one of him. Oh, look, I heard a beep. It must be Brett. Ooh, it's Sir Brett. Wow. It's Sir <laughs> Brett now. Dang, he must've, he must've donated to a castle renovation if he's a sir now. Well, well, you know, you know, when amongst men with castles, you have to be a sir. Well, then you could be a lord, you know. Uh, I could, but that's five hundred pound, Reed. <laughs> yeah, moto. All that crashing is doors on this floor. Oh, I keep slamming closed because they're metal doors. Oh, that's why I had and, music, so you probably wouldn't have heard the music. Yeah. You know, heard as much and, of that. And people make loud noises, so if you hear any random background noises, that's just. So, so long as you don't hear any of the really, really bad stuff of like what we're hearing these days, you know, then we're, yeah. then we're you know. I, I try and mute it when they get really rowdy. Well, no, no. I'm talking like the stuff that would like scare the b pants off most people, you know, like loud, loud bangs and stuff like that, you know. I mean, you know, just like in this day and age, I mean, you just never know where someone's going to lose their mind. So, I mean, just, you know. Yeah. If that happens, just make sure you scream, you know, loud enough so we, you know, we know, you know. 
So that I mean that, I mean there was it was like what two of them this week. It was like man, it's just well. As I was coming back, I was running coming back from my my run today. I actually we actually got passed by two undercover cars and ended up going into an area kind of near where I live, or kind of near where I live, one of the shopping centers. But I don't know what I don't know what happened. I didn't uh, didn't uh, dig deep enough to find out. So, but yeah, you just you know. We just ignore that crashing. We just, you know, it's, you know, it, I mean, the only difference is it just doesn't have that really, that really nice sound of, of smashing Lego. Cause that's actually got a much better sound. You know, if you can time it right, he just needs to say, you know, if you guys are going to slam a door, make sure you drop this bag of Lego bricks too in the hallway. That way it, you know, it, you know, for those of us that are doing other things, it gives a much better sound. I, I dropped a case of Lego bricks on the floor at a Lego store. You know, it makes a really nice sound. It's just, yeah. it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's just bad when they go scattering across the floor, but you know, yeah, it's an awesome sound. Awesome sound. Build like a little enclosure and just drop bricks in there. That might be kind of fun. Well, I mean, actually, like people have said for drop test, you know, I did do that. <laughs> I do, when I was taking apart the old parts of the castle, I did put it in the in the like the shopping bags and, and drop it on the floor. Now, granted, I, at my old place, I had tile and concrete. Here, I got carpet, so I'm gonna have to go out to get like a like a marble piece of marble or something and put it you know somewhere here and then just have it ready to pull out if I need to you know drop some Lego you know a marble marble cutting board or something you know that I can just drop Lego on. But, yeah. All right. Well, I gotta hop out for now. Oh, I might, okay. pop, I might pop back in a little bit later, but okay. We'll, we'll try see. and survive without you. I can't guarantee mm -hmm. it'll happen, but we'll try. Oh, oh thanks, Ray. I'll just go too, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I mean, well, there's, you know, at two people, you know, hey, you know, right. we just, you know, I don't know how I'll, well I'll see we you guys can see it. I don't know how well we can hey, the excitement of everybody that's you know watching us. You know? Look, buddy, there's me and you. We're, we're the castle guys, you know. <laughs> that mean that means anybody who's not in the castle should just leave right now. From you know, from no, the oh, no, no, not not at all, not at all. Reed, you're not just into castle, are you? You're into city. Uh, you're into a bit of everything, buddy. Well, I have some of that stuff. I don't know whether I'm into it or not. You know. Oh, oh really? So why did you build both the blacksmith shops then? <laughs> Oh, because I had it. It was yeah, it was part of a backlog. You know, you gotta, you got, I got, I gotta build some of my backlog. Otherwise, people are just gonna just they're gonna think I just don't know how to build Lego. You know, I mean, they'll start, they'll stop watching. Krispy Kreme, yeah, Willie. <laughs> I used to buy that stuff all the time in Colorado when I was winning money, of, you know, bowling and stuff. Then of course my manager says, "No, quit doing that for the employees." Like, okay. <laughs> winning four or five hundred dollars. I mean, the next morning I bring in a couple dozen, you know, two dozen donuts of Krispy Kreme, and I'm like, oh, I can stop that. No, no harm there. I mean, I just, you know, I'm a nice guy. I figured I'd, you know, I won money bowling, you know, using my skill set and figured I'd treat the employees. I don't know. That's okay. That's how crazy my manager was, anyways. So luckily the person didn't last that long, and so that's fine, you know. I should have. I should I should actually email the I should I message the manager who's there now the or the supervisor say hey are you guys allowed to buy like uh, donuts and stuff can I send you money and just buy some Krispy Kreme one more one morning just for the guys and just say oh this is from Reed <coughs> this is from one of our old managers you know he just he feels bad that he can't buy anymore for you guys so. but, you know. yeah I haven't won any money bowling in a while but I did I did. You bowl once in a while. I bowl pretty good. I'm done for the season pretty much for the most part. So. You, you, you bowled a good game yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, what was it? 230. I got to look. 230, 240, 230 or something like that. Let me look. Let me pull it out. Let me make sure. Like, let me just pull it out, you know? Let's see here. Uh, what did I shoot? I started good tonight, too, and then it kind of fell, fell apart in the middle game. What did I shoot? Last night I went 238, 246, 247, or 731. Tonight I went 247, 182, 221. So yeah, not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I averaged, I, I mean, the goal last night was to get my average back up to about 210 where it should be. So that was the goal last night. I, I achieved that. Okay. Um, 
Did it? Did I hear right? Did I hear Chop say that you've got another mall show coming up soon, Reed? Is that right? Yeah, we got one up coming up in Green Bay uh, next weekend, I believe. I don't know if Chop's going to show up or not. We'll see. Yeah, no. I guess he's going to have to get permission to show up. But I mean, hopefully he's got something to bring. And I would, I would tell anybody for like stuff like that too, is just even bring your own, your, you know, even if it's not complete, bring it and show it off. I mean, you know, kids like to see stuff in progress too. I mean, you know, just because my castle's never truly done. So technically it was, it's always a work in progress. So um, I feel, I feel your pain there. That's why I made the other castle read. Yeah, I need, that, I need, I need that, I need that dump truck. Yeah, I need, I need the bed of that dump truck. Is that a Lego dump truck bed there? That is a Lego dump truck bed. Ooh, oh, that's. I'm using it for parts at the moment because I've run out of tubs. <laughs> I, I think that would make a really sweet medieval trebuchet. I think you have to figure out how to build one of those using the bed of that truck. That would be, be pretty awesome. You know, it'll sling a lot of. A lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, material at the enemy all at once. <laughs> Smoldering boulders, you mean, Reed? <laughs> no, you know, oh. there's, there's nothing. To say, there's nothing to say that you know the medieval people weren't thinking of a of a claymore back in the day either. You know, maybe you know throwing lots of. You know, a little, in a little, uh, you know. Like I said, I'll, I'll let you have your few extras as long as you let me have the wizards. Because all they've got to do is wave them wands and all their mice spares disappear. Well, you know. There's not much of an army if you can't see them. <laughs> you're going to have to, you're going to have to make, now I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to take a, take a thing out of the movie Ready Player One and build a, a giant force field around my castle now. I, mean, I think if you do that. <laughs> I think I have enough clear to do that. I think I could do that. That might be kind of cool. I'll tell you what would be nice, Reed. I don't know if you've ever seen it. There's a film called The Giver, and it's about the future and how mankind destroys itself. But in that, they have... The only way I can describe it is it's a circular structure with, like, four legs, and it looks like the creature from War of the Worlds. Mm -hmm. It's actually a platform that sort of goes over a city and it yep. looks really cool. And I think rather than, like you say, build the entire dome, which would take a very long time, you could just have the four definitive arms coming from the center of. But, yeah, I'm not going to give you tactics, you know. Well, I te actually, technically, I think we might have some kind of a giant sphere at some point uh, when we know Brick World <laughs> Chicago is going to happen. I got to recruit Moto to build the uh, the sphere from the Incredible movie. Uh, Syndromes. Uh, what was it? I don't remember what, what what Mark was that. Mark Ten or something is is a mechanical thing. I mean, I might uh, just for, at some point we're going to have to build something in honor of in memory of Brick Freak, and so it's either going to be Incredible or Willy Wonka. But Willy Wonka was something he was working on, so his dad just decides to display it incredibles might be better um you know and i actually haven't seen his dad in a while so i don't know if he ever opened up that package i don't know if it was a giant order of frozones or whatever yeah i need i need yeah i mean since we're in this pandemic i don't think we've ever really even discussed it much even in the log i mean i need to I need to talk to the group and see at some point i'll let you know i'll let you know it's probably you were at least a year off so it's it's it, it won't be till next year <coughs> the Chicago show has been canceled, so it'll be for the convention. It won't be for any of the small brick worlds. It'll only be for the convention. So I'll let you know. We're 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 not we're we're over a year away. We're like fourteen months away from that show because that doesn't happen until June. So and it'll happen in June twenty twenty two. So I'll let you know. I know you probably want to build something like that. So um, I figured uh, I definitely. Uh, if we end up doing it, I'll be like, I got the builder for the sphere. I got it. So, yeah, cool, cool. Um, other than that, I mean, what are you working on these days, Moto? Are you working on anything crazy and exciting in terms of, I know you had that car and the, the car kit and all that. Um, kind of what have you built to top that, I guess? That'd be kind of the kicker. That was pretty awesome. That's a, that's a tough thing to tough thing to, to top, I think, in terms of that. So. Unless, of course, you were building a giant, humongous uh, box for the uh, the giant spaceship. Now, that would be kind of cool, you know. 
giant spaceship in a box, you know, you know, a couple hundred thousand pieces, you know, put a nice big price tag on the bottom of it, you know, like five, six figures, you know, well, yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's kind of, it happens. I mean, one reason kind of I'm building is like I said, I destroyed the old castle. And that's what kind of makes me laugh about the contest over in Billing is I almost I should have put in the fact that this is the only remaining element of a 115,000 plate clear castle. And so, yes, it's old, but the inside's new. And, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. I phrased it wrong, you know. Yeah, you know. Hey, dude, Jude. It's kind of things. I mean, that's kind of, you know. Like I said, I built a few sets. I built the blacksmith shop over a few episodes. Um, that's upstairs. I actually built both blacksmith shop. I built the the one from Siskin, and then I also built the 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 newer one. So I built both of them. So that was a few episodes of that. And other than that, you know, just been working on the new one. What's that? What's all that brown, Brett? What's that brown in the background? It's like almost like a a, a Mott and Bailey type kind of thing. <laughs> Well, you mean what it is? No, the no the the one the walls that look like they're actually vertical standing in the background there behind the bucket. Oh, uh, you you mean um, the remaining pieces of Fort El Dorado or whichever one it was? Yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like a a, Mo, a Martin Bailey or Moton Bailey, whatever they call it. You know, from my yeah. days, my days of Lords of the Realm. You know, you know, it is on the Viking boat as well, Reed. Not the yeah. custom one, you know. I'm getting there slowly, you know. I, I've had a little bit of help, you know. Sloth's got me on a couple of uh, nights and that for the castle. But yeah, I um, I don't know if you saw it, Reed. I'll show you this one quick. I remocked the Harry Potter, the Harry Potter Great Hall. Oh, okay. And yeah, I like it a bit better than how it was. Okay, so the brown panels are part of a ship. Is that what you're saying? Actually, this for the first time I saw the front of the ship, I guess. I just saw the sides before. Yeah, let me grab the ship. It's a ship. It's a ship. There's two of them, actually. Well, actually, it's more than two of them, but yeah. No, I just used them brown panels because I thought being a Viking ship, it would have wooden sides and cool. the brown panels were the first thing i thought of that i actually had and i wasn't using so something sweet i love wooden sides it's awesome for fire dragons just to breathe fire and just torch mm -hmm. it i love it yeah yeah i only have one dragon i only have one well i actually i it, actually i brought some other ones let me see here if i can remember where i did one um i had them would they go Gosh, where did they go? Maybe they're in here with the video stuff. Yeah, you know, here we go. I got, I got some, I got some fire breathing dragons right here. They're, you know, they're these, they're the small type. You know, they're these guys here. How about these guys? I got these nice fire breathing dragons. These guys. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know. I guess I like dragons for some reason. I, I'm just I'm speculating, you know, I needed some, you know, <laughs> some, some small dragons. That's, see, that's the problem. When you, when you, when you have an addiction like this, it, you sometimes make crazy mistakes and buy lots of crazy things. Well, well, it's the crazy things that make Lego interesting, really. I don't like the conventional stuff that just everybody's got. I'm sorry. I like unique things. I like peculiar things. I like things I've never seen before. That's the whole love of Lego for me. Finding something that I haven't seen before or, yeah, like I've never seen them before till now. Now I've seen them. I think they're cool. Uh, yeah, I actually, those, I, I need to figure out, see if I can make them, figure out how to make them look like they're flying. Uh, they were from one of the series many figs. I don't remember which one they were. They were they were a while back. Uh, it's been a while since I've had those guys. Let's see here. Let's see if it's page two or if it's gonna be on page one. Uh, maybe let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, this I think it's this series. Yeah, series. 
18, it was the dragon suit guy. So that one had like the elephant girl and the brick, the brick girl and guy, the firework guy, the cactus girl. Yeah, so that yeah, one yeah. Oh, it, had the, it had the unicorn guy too. So I ended up buying more dragons and unicorns, which is kind of weird because unicorns technically are rare. So, but, yeah. <coughs> so other than that, you know, yeah, I you know sometimes I, and I stumble upon those guys, and actually it's fine. I found all my my all my clear ladders the other day too when I was digging in something. I was like, wow, where'd those end up coming from? You know, all my I built a bunch and then. I don't know. So, yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Just got to, you know, got to have fun with the castle stuff. Well, I think oh. they just said, I think I just saw like an email saying the medieval, uh, a medieval market village or something just got 10,000 votes or something. I thought. Ooh. I thought something like that. I, you know, but in the end, it, just like anything else, I mean, I don't know. Since we just got a medieval set, I don't think they'd do another one right away. So nah, no, it's, it's a bit. So it's, it's a bit on top of. I've got I've got some figures coming for the castle, which I'm excited about. I can start messing with the inside a little bit more, but I keep having this yearning read, and I don't know why. But I want to build a black castle out of black castle mm -hmm. pieces. So yeah. what I might do is I might change the focus off of that one, focus on putting the figures in it for now and sorting the horses and whatnot out, etc., etc., and start acquiring the black pieces for the black castle. Well, you know, if you do a black one, make sure you got some, you know, make sure you got some red racing stripes around it. That way, you know, you could, that way Larry can bring his Deadpools over and they can uh, <laughs> maybe hijack that castle and have some fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. Unless, of course, Larry beats you to it and he builds a castle, but I, I don't think that's in the cards right now. So. Well, you know, you, you know that bricks for Chris. He he, he keeps threatening to do a castle. Uh, yeah. Well, empty threats from these guys who just don't understand how awesome castles really are. You know, they're all stuck in the modern city age where they don't, you know, you know where they just think all the weapons of, of the modern age are cool, and you know. Vic vehicular manslaughter just isn't as cool as a working trebuchet. I don't know what it is, but uh, well, trebuchets are so much better. So <laughs> I have got to say, Reed, I totally agree with you. If I put a wamba in one of my catapults and fire it across the room, it does make me chuckle. Yeah, probably then just if you push a car, you know, a Lego car across the floor and it takes out a minifig, it just isn't the same. It just, you know, just kind yeah, of that's it. You load the catapult up. It's actually got the spring action in it. It fires. Do you know what I mean? That's a lot better. Uh, and for that reason, yeah. Like you say, it has to be played with as well. It demands it. Except, except, you know, you know, getting hit by a train, though, you know, for these train guys. Now that, you know, that could <laughs> prove to be kind of entertaining for a mini big, you know, so. <coughs> I haven't. I haven't actually um, <laughs> I've ran over had, to, a couple, had to sacrifice any minifigures yet. I've ran over a couple ice bears with trains before, you know, slow motion. <coughs> mm. Got to make sure that slow motion in the, uh, mm. on the Apple phone is, uh, ha <laughs> Well, no, I mean, you know, Moto could build castle. You'd be an epic castle builder, buddy. In the end, in the end, I mean, there's nothing to say that you know that that out of this world stuff isn't you know a castle of sorts. You know, just not you know, it's just not the brick and mortar stuff. You know, it's that high high tech you know stuff. high tech castle. But that's okay. That's okay, you know. I mean, in the end, I've always, I always wanted to have like uh, some of that futuristic stuff would always look cool, like landed around a castle. You know, just think of how how crazy the uh, the night you saw something, you know, truly out of this world and didn't understand how to understand it. That'd be kind of cool. So, magic castle, yeah, yeah, yeah. magical. Kind of like you know, kind of like the, the magic space castle. 
kind of is kind of like what you know Br uh, Brett wants to do with the the Wizards. He wants to make the you know, the Ice Bears disappear. But I'm sure with the Magic Space Castle with its stealth mode and everything like that, it probably already m can disappear. You know, much better than what a wizard can do. So you know, poor wizards behind the times already. Especially when, Mo especially when Moto plays. When Moto plays, yeah, the wizards just don't have a chance. Unless, of course, it's a space wizard. You know, then I don't know then. Well, no, it's a, it's a wizard wizard raid, but I'm sure if he tweaks his little wand, he can magic you up a spaceship, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry. We've got Harry Potter and all his friends, if not. That's a whole class of wizards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of ghosts, you know, headless Nick and all that. <laughs> Ooh, headless, headless uh, magicians. Now that's kind of cool. <coughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm not sure of um, <laughs> in Castle Warfare. I've got my A squad and my B squad. <laughs> hmm. The A squad go out first. <laughs> well, you know, I try to, I try to get my commandos to kind of. Do their stealthy missions first to try to minimize the the resistance already, you know. So I do have those guys. Did come across those guys in their nice, uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> just ask, uh, are all your here. knights and your bears male? Uh, what are all the knights and your bears male? Because if so, my female division will wipe them out in one go. Well, you know, I don't know. I think there's some females in there. You know, you just, you know. I was going to say, there's an episode on one of the Carry On films, Reed, you know, they where do. they go to war. And what they do is when the, when the Germans get to the border, the women take their tops off. Oh, and right. the Germans just stand there, they walk up to them and take the guns off. Well, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, we do have a few very entertaining inns in the castle area so i mean oh, i'm guessing i'm guessing those have to have i'm guessing they're manned by i don't think i want to visit your castle what you haven't seen the red light district at hope castle well you know <laughs> is it's it kind of castle still repute is it really <laughs> well luckily luckily the castle i think the years that those have been set up the the castle is on a table so only only the tall <laughs> the tall people were able to see that you know <laughs> on the floor, I think the 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 the, the mm. inn has been like a model a model in you know you know always doing the right stuff and uh, not doing anything wrong. You know. <laughs> but you know, I do have my secret. I do have my other secret uh, commando force, the uh, Magnificent Seven. I mean, they're 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 there too. So you got to watch out. Those guys are pretty good. So <laughs> they've been known to wipe out a few forces single handedly. So you got to be careful. So. Right, so let, 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 let me get this clear. I need to order 10,000 stormtroopers. <laughs> huh? Nothing, nothing. Just thinking out loud. <laughs> I'm messing with you, Reed. I would never order Star Wars. <laughs> well, they can't shoot anyway, so why would you need stormtroopers? I mean, they're going to miss the way they're shooting it. Again, cannon, cannon fodder, isn't it? If we go, if we're going to play castles, then we need an A squad and a B squad. Sending the Star Wars guys first. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know why I've got the urge to build the Black Castle. I must have seen one. Well, I, I must, must have seen my Galactic, my Galactic Dark Fortress sitting in my in my backlog or something, as I'm what I'm thinking, you know. Maybe just just I mean, read, read. it's Friday. No flexing, please. I get enough refusal. He's always flexing. I, I didn't flex. I just I just meant. No, I wouldn't seen it though when you did your tour of your unit. I see quite a lot of what you've got castle wise tucked away, buddy. Oh, I don't have that much. I don't know what you're talking about. You must be mis you must be mistaking me for someone else. 
Are you saying I got bad eyesight? <laughs> yeah, you do. You have terrible eyesight. You need to get that checked. <laughs> Just so that clear, you do know that any castle is epic castle. <laughs> Doesn't matter how big or small the collection. Yeah, yeah. It's castle. It's castle. Okay. castle has a place of its own. It it is just yeah. What happened to my tiles? Tiles, where did you go? Tiles here, tiles. Where did you go? And then I had that bag of other stuff. Where did that go? Is that one got any clear ones in it? Got lots of trans blue. Mm -hmm. uh, We try what well, moto we try to make you guys as entertained as we possibly can on a Friday night. You know, it just it you know that's how it goes. We gotta try and make the masses happy. I mean, that's why we don't charge for admission, because if we did, then we really have to live up to the hype and you know, I mean that's, well, that's, well, tough, right? that's I'm sure hype. you wouldn't let me on ill, Reed, if you had pain. <laughs> subscribers but you know i'm getting better what can i say <laughs> you mean you know maybe mean, you mean pay as you go i don't know i don't know i have to provide something then i'd have to like give away some like ice bear capes or something if i was gonna do that i did i did ponder with the thought of doing a uh um what do you call it, a patreon and and giving out capes at certain levels but didn't get much farther than the planning stage. Hmm. Hmm. They are what they are, buddy, you know. Yeah, I just needed to okay, I put that back in there. Like, oh, maybe, maybe not. Threading the needle. Oh, and I didn't do a very good job. It spun. It spun. <clears throat> Okay, so I guess it's uh, I mean I don't know what's going on tonight. Is there any other any other YouTubers like we're going up against that are like you know big name other than the small potato people? Um, I, I don't think there is actually, Rick. I never looked for you, buddy. But no, I mean I saw a few people earlier, but you know I guess you got to you got you got to like who you like. I guess it's it. The window on the back, there is a window on the back. I need a window. Back. Well, just because I'm hardcore, it's like 2 30 in the morning here. Yeah, so are you uh are you thinking you're heading to bed then? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I'm sorting, buddy. We so got four watching and I'm not seeing anybody else come up. No. Any what? I'm not seeing anybody else come up streaming on my YouTube. I mean, I think I saw, I think I saw, I think I saw Brixie earlier, but I don't remember who. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I did Chop see. Hot Chop was earlier too. I don't think there's anybody now. Yeah, and uh, Doc was streaming or dismantling, I think. I did see that. I thought I'd come across and say hi. Oh, I saw that you, you only had Jay in. <laughs> yeah, we had we had twelve people watching at one point. Maybe we just they got they got scared away by all the clear. I guess it was just too shiny. They just you know were blinded by the shine. You know that they thought it was diamonds, and they really were like, "Well, I'm not, I don't want to talk." I thought this was a Lego stream, not a diamond stream. You know, so. it was you flexing the blingage. <laughs> Castles kind of look. The castle does look in some pictures. It almost looks like a lot of, a lot of like diamonds. Almost, it's kind of funny. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. I started here so I have a warm place for the stream. Mm -hmm. I like coming on here. Always have, always will. Purely because me and Reed both have the same passion. We love building castles. It's just, yeah, it's one of them things, isn't it? I, I just hope, think I, I, hope I never switch the city and I'll be fine. <laughs> well, 
Well, well, no, because I'd love to build a medieval city, Reed. You know, if money was no object, wow. Money was... Yeah, that, that would be freaking amazing, you know what I mean, to build a medieval city, not, not a set or a castle, the whole city, you know, plan it out. If, if money was no object, you know... Well, then you better hope I have the Mega Millions tonight, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> you know, I it's, also... It's only, it's only like a couple hundred million, you know, enough for, you know... A couple hundred. Enough, 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 <laughs> you know, it's, it's, enough for, it's, enough for few, it's enough for a few more clear plates. Just a few. <laughs> I, I think that would be enough for you to buy your own machine and make your own. No, I'd probably just do, you know, Lego. Just I need every every month. Make sure you're sending me, you know, uh, a, you know, a couple hundred thousand plates every month, just so I've, you know, got enough to keep building with. So, you know. no, I forgot. I need to use some texturing, so I need to use some of these. Uh, <coughs> we won't have any headlight bricks because this is going up against other stuff. But I'll be using some of the some of the brick bricks, the clear brick bricks. I need to actually I need to talk to my members of my lug so I can get my haunted house out of the freaking bricks and minifig store is what I need to do. Been sitting there for forever. Been there since uh, since before the pandemic. Wow. <coughs> yeah, no, I got a package from the slot on its way over the water. I know that's coming. But other than that, I know nothing. But hopefully, Reed, fingers crossed, in the next sort of 10 days, we're going to be allowed back outside because we haven't been. So. Oh, yeah. There you go. Everything's going to change. How you doing, Jesse? Yeah, no. So it'd be nice to go outside and. Um, I mean this in the nicest possible term. There's going to be a massacre in my Lego shop when I can get in there. <laughs> I'm just going to go mad and buy whatever I can in case they ever try to put us in another lockdown. Because, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. been murders <laughs> not having the parts. I didn't think I'd run out as quick as I did. <laughs> I shocked myself. Yeah, now, do you guys have any of the... Uh... Do you guys have any of the aftermarket places like the bricks and minifigs and stuff over here in the states? Oh there... no, 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 Reed. Shops like that, like us, us English, especially when like Hoosier and Charlie and Josh Lumberjack, when all of them have took me into shops like solo brick builders, like just take my bank details. Do you know what I mean? Because we don't have shops like that over here. I'm wondering why. I mean, is there is there something against is there something against selling used toys or anything over there in terms of in a retail environment? Because I know a lot of the a lot of the guidelines for a lot of the stuff like grab bags and stuff came out of Europe of something about quality for toys. Now maybe that was new stuff, but it'd be interesting to see if you could sell used stuff over there like that. That's kind of the question I wonder. Well, I mean, the used stuff, I'll be honest with you, the used stuff goes like hotcakes. Everybody buys used because the new stuff is too dear over here. Hmm. And, you know, again, when you've got more than one child wanting the same set. Yeah. <laughs> I've turned. Oh, I am back. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, oh, I know I understand what you guys were saying. I was wondering what you guys were trying to say. Yeah, I went... Pfft. Went right over my head, right over the head. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I understand. Well, thanks, guys. You know, well, yeah, yeah everybody's got to start somewhere. I mean, and I kind of, I mean, I actually kind of, it was Kevin who kind of, Hinkle who talked me into it, you know, after, you know, uh, you know, and, and that's kind of the thing is that's why it's kind of so heartbreaking when he's leaving the thing is because, I mean, he brings so much element to the to the streams is kind of, that's kind of what kind of, Hurts the most, and he and he just has yeah. that magnetism around him that just kind of, you know, just you know, you want to just you. Know, I mean, when he's when he was on my streams, I mean, you go back and look at some, it just was crazy amount of the amount of people that it suddenly just showed up. So 
I, I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, but that's good. I mean, it's good to have shows. I mean, they, I mean, I guess, you know, the thing is, well, just like anything else, so long as there isn't, I mean, eventually there's going to be everybody going against everybody else for times. It's just, I, I'm hoping once the cons start again, unless, unless I, unless these new, uh, car magnets I buy actually help boost my followership. I mean, I need a convention to really kind of, you know, boost the, boost the follower, the amount of followers I have. Cause I think if I, if, if the, if I have the castle and have cards and stuff, plus I need an actual Friday night bricks card. I don't have a card yet. I haven't made one yet. Um, so I need to do that too. That's kind of what I was working on the other day with a QR code. I need that. I might put that on the actual magnet on the side of the vehicle. Yeah, just point towards my car with your camera phone so you can actually go right to the stream. Right to the stream. <laughs> just around my mom's car. Mom, it's Friday night. I need you to go drive. Go drive around town, you know? Yeah. Make sure you drive when you're under the street lights on, on like the slow streets. Just make sure you stop so people can take a picture and, you know, and see what's going on. <laughs> yes. Speaking of QR codes, I saw this really funny short clip. The other day, it was um some guy had a QR code tattooed to his leg, and the QR code was to never going to give you up. <laughs> yeah, so it was a Rick roll. <laughs> it was just amusing. <coughs> wonder if that was like. I wonder if it was an actual tattoo, or if it was like a like a, one of those tattoo socks or something like that. You know, no, it was an actual tattoo. It looked like an actual tattoo. <laughs> Use an Instagram tag. Yeah, but I don't do as much on my Instagram. I, you know, I mean, well, it, well, the Instagram tag linked to my YouTube. That's the kicker. So because I mean, YouTube is where everything I do is pretty much. Instagram, I haven't posted hardly. Yeah. Only time I really post on Instagram and Twitter and some places is when I'm doing stuff for like shows. You know, when I'm building and I, lately for the building stuff, I haven't been doing much because I, I think I save a lot of it kind of for the show and stuff. So I don't really do a, a lot from that standpoint. So. But I'll look into that. I mean, I don't know, because actually I think the uh, I when I was at Vistaprint, they kind of just talked about QR codes. So I just was I looked at it and just kind of pulled me in. Hook, line, and sinker. <coughs> so but yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jesse, uh now what night is yours? Is yours oh oh Sunday, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. No spoilers. I ain't watched me episode of Winter Soldier yet. No spoilers. It's not so. Well, they're not. They're not in here. So I mean, they, 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 he has to be on the panel to spoil. So he's not allowed to spoil in the chat. You got to be in the panel if you want to spoil. But then you know, Wagner's not here, and so it's one of those things. When, when Wagner's here, and those guys are here, then yeah, all bets are off. You know. Then yeah. you never know what might happen at that point. I haven't, I haven't seen the episodes, but I know about the whole Zemo dance thing because Marvel has been posting about it. They posted an hour-long video of Zemo's dance. Hmm. No idea. And, and Marvel knows it exactly what we want. No idea. Not. I'm not. I don't watch hardly anything in terms of TV and stuff. Hmm. I mean, I, I think kind of it's one of those things where I, I heard I heard it on you know somewhere the other day. Maybe it was on one of the other streams where they were everybody's talking about how much the streaming there's there's so many streaming services. It might have been Kevin's yeah. Family, but there's just so many streaming services and stuff, and to have them all, it's just you know. Then you're getting yeah. to the point where then you're almost getting to the point of cable TV. Oh look at this! I don't know who this. I, I see the name, but the the picture doesn't look quite. Whoa. like Day. <laughs> Doesn't, that doesn't look. Oh, like it's my not. counterpart from Earth Six One Six. That's so. That's a. That's but a I'm here to spoil the show. I heard I was out in the <laughs> chat, and you said I couldn't. I had to come on to spoil the show. I'm here. So, <laughs> I'm here to spoil right. it. Read, read, quick. Get, get the castles out. We're tamed. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna try to fight me back. You're like, let me flex this castle right in your dang, face. Dang it! I left. I left all the ice bears out there. But you know, I got these these cat ladies with whips. They could chase the uh, doc just like they chase, uh, you know, Mister Hinkle. You know, they might have a bit of fun. I might have to make myself a doc uh, uh, sig fig just so maybe I can switch from Kevin yeah. to doc. I was about to say we need a doc Samson fig. Yeah, I might have to do that. I might have to switch. That would be, a, be, be, a, be a mini fig. It wouldn't be a full size figure. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be like a Groot or a Baby Yoda. Oh, we can do that. We can paint it. We can paint them red. That's fine. Yeah. 
I got some of those things. No big deal. Yeah, it's worth ruining a group to get a doc. You know, come on. Just before you come in, so you haven't seen, how come you haven't uh, seen the episode, Brick? The Br the episode's been out for twelve hours. What? What's? What, I mean, I mean. <laughs> I know, I know. Mrs. That's, Mrs. That's Brett more, went. That's more than enough time. Earlier. Mrs. Brett went to spoil it earlier. I said, "Behave! I'll watch it later." I was about <laughs> to ask. I was about to ask Reed and Jay what their thoughts were on the new Godzilla versus Kong. Huh? Oh, I haven't watched that either. Yeah, well, that was a, I saw it. It was a popcorn I, movie. It was a definitely a, you. You're a munching popcorn. You threw your brain away because <laughs> the plot line made little to no sense. Yeah. But you were just like, whatever, fight, dang, fight, that's, fight. <laughs> that's what I got from and, the honest trailer. Is that yeah, I don't know what you were talking about, but you know, okay. Kong versus Godzilla. I don't know. Uh, I watched it earlier, and I've watched every movie they've done in concession because I follow a lot of the movies. And honestly, I would say it's really well done. The story stays in tune with everything. And, I mean, I'm not going to lie. The fight scenes are just, yeah. That's yeah, exactly. where films need yep. to be going. Do you know what I mean? When they fight, that that is... That reminds me of Rampage on the Commodore 64. Oh, God, yeah. you, were like, you were just like munching popcorn. You're like, oh, more, more. This fight needs to go on. <laughs> so, so, so Kong versus Godzilla, is that like a new, is that a new uh, Lego animated series or something that's out now? No, no a, that's an actual movie, Reed. Yeah, live action. Live action Kong, live action wow, Godzilla. Live action? <laughs> I, I thought those guys were fictional characters. How'd they do live wow. action? But man, CGI. It must have been pretty yeah. big, man. Woo, woo. Well, we're that's that because suit. it's because they went to Monster Island and they got you know they found King Kong. Have you not been paying attention, Reed? <laughs> Have you not been to New York when when he destroyed part of New York? I mean, you know, you're no, just too busy with you know the coronavirus news, and not seeing that there's a monkey rampaging in New York, and there's you know no, giant dinosaur that. that lives in Japan that kills people. <laughs> well, 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 they fight well, well, each other. Some, Fictional place. It was fantastic. Oh my god! Well, here Just, I thought was, that. Wow. I hear that. I hear. I thought that giant tsunami started by an earthquake. It was actually from a, a giant lizard. Cool. That's even better. Yeah. Do you know what? Should, was, I'm was, not going to really spoil good. the film. I'm not going to spoil. Yeah, the we're not going to tell you who won. Place, <laughs> it was good. It was good though. It was like thumbs up. <laughs> that place you've just said about, you get to see in this movie as well. It's been hyped in the <laughs> other one about this place. In this movie, you get to see that place. And, yeah, I'm not saying any more. Hey, there, Bricks, love. I'm not spoiling oh, not it, but if you haven't watched it, give it a watch when you get the chance. It is a well-done movie. I do not regret watching it, and I'm going to watch it. We'll see. If it comes up on, on the pay-per-view and you're bored... I've recommended it. No, I, I keep I keep having problems finishing this giant clear castle. So I, don't know, I don't know if I'll get time from front of the pay per view, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, but you have to pull yourself away from the Minecraft for that read. Come on. <laughs> oh, I can never pull myself away from that. Exactly. See. I'll just turn it on in the background, and you can glance up occasionally. You know, when they're fighting, and then look away when they're not fighting. I'm I'm sure based on what I've heard about the plot. It won't really matter. It was very thin. It was very thin. But who cared? They fought. It was awesome. <laughs> it, oh, was thick. Like, it was a huge spectacle. It was fantastic. Hey, Thick and Bricks. How's it going, buddy? Watched a little bit of that uh, stream earlier. Cool, Did cool. you keep up with the movies then, Doc? Because there's another one out. And it's got... Um, is it that Tom Holland that plays Spider-Man? That Chaos I mean, Walking... Yeah, that's the one where his thoughts yeah. are about his head. <laughs> well, all, every every man that comes to that planet's thoughts above their head, and he's a young yeah. kid and he can't control his thoughts. Whereas I've seen, yes, I've seen it. <laughs> I've, I've seen them all. Pretty much, you can name a movie if it's new. I've seen it. Yes. <laughs> cool, cool. I, I just wanted to uh, know if you'd seen that one because I'd watched that the other day as well, and that was quite good. <laughs> Yeah, I keep going back and forth if I'm going to watch that movie. There's a movie called Boogie. It's about an Asian-American kid that lives in Harlem that tries to get into the NBA. <laughs> so it should be interesting. 
you know, he falls in love with a black girl. There's gangs. It's all kinds of craziness. So it should be interesting. <laughs> I, I do love a good movie. Always have. I don't watch terrestrial TV anymore. All the news is, unless it's the virtual news, of course. That's the only news I watch. <laughs> <laughs> virtual news is the only news source I trust. Well, that's it. <laughs> Uh, as I've said before, Doc, and I will say it now that you're in the stream, but I most definitely love the Matt the Elder video. That one makes me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe those. He, I couldn't believe he sent all of those photos over. I'm like, ah, most of them I'm like, I'd seen him draw and mock me with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and Matt is a good guy. You two did. You made us chuckle quite a few times. We enjoyed watching that. It was nice to watch. Oh, I think. I'm, I, now I just got to figure out, you know, what what I'm going to do. To send, and I got to send something back. I was just going to like go buy a People magazine or some sort of American magazine you couldn't get in England and just send it to him and be like, here it is. It's nothing to do with Lego, but here's a magazine you can't get in the in the UK. Just like I can't get that magazine. And be like, here it is. <laughs> My question is this. Where did you get the Nodding Queen? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a nodding queen before, but yeah, after that stream, I was like, that's cool. <laughs> she's solar powered too, you know, she's got a little solar power panel on the front of her. You're supposed to put her in your I'm car. So, so all day long she dances, all day long. <laughs> and I, I won that from a giveaway from an English channel <laughs> many, 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 many years ago and they sent it to me. I was just like, I want a what? All right, I'll take it. <laughs> No, I think it's definitely cool. Like I say, it made me just. <laughs> well, anytime I get, do anything or think of anything London or what, you know, British for a video, I'm always like, bring out the Queen. The Queen must come <laughs> forward for the video. We must have the Queen. <laughs> Oh, and it's all sad about Prince Philip. I heard about Prince Philip just recently. Yeah. Very sad. Yeah. Very sad. But he lived a very long, long, 90-something, 90 99, wasn't it? 98? Yes, yeah. 99 yeah. years old. Yeah, I mean, just like last week, a couple of weeks ago, he was walking around, you know, just whatever. So I'm just like, well done. Well done. He lived a long life. He was active Again, till the very he, end. He, so that's uh, really good, you know. I don't know if you know it, Doc. He's the one responsible for the Prince's Trust and the Prince's Trust Health. Oh. So, so many people in the UK, do you know what I mean? That was like your foot in the door if you wanted to get into a solid profession. And he would, there were grants and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, he was, you know, <laughs> as everyone said, you know, he didn't outlive the Queen, unfortunately, you know. Yeah, well, I think uh, right. Well, I think Liz Elizabeth is going to try to beat Queen Mother. She's he's got she's got to beat the Queen Mother in age. He he did leave his own mark, like I say, the Prince's Trust. You know that that, that name over here is is royalty in itself. He did, he definitely left his own mark. You know, well, he was like the most active of the royals too. So this is like <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. Can we not go into it? Because I've seen stuff about Harry on the internet and I and all. <laughs> Don't talk bad about Harry. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He's, he's, a, he's a Canadian now. Who cares? He's he's Canadian now, isn't he? Isn't he? <laughs> Him and Megan live in Vancouver or something. I was like, whatever. <coughs> I don't know. No politics. Not on the Friday night, Doc. We can't do it. Right. What yeah, that, not, not, yeah, that, that's 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 it's like that's politics over there. We'd have to talk about other characters for tea politics over here. But isn't that like isn't that like isn't that kind of like almost medieval castle type, you know, royalty politics? That's a little bit different, you know. We are talking castles, so you know, come on. <laughs> and we are talking kings and queens. And royalty right. is fitting. <laughs> so, you know, I mean that might be a little exempt, you know. <laughs> What was you taking part, Doc? I didn't get to see your stream. I do apologize. I took apart the flying fox. All right, cool, cool. I did see the post come up. I was like, 
I didn't know foxes. I didn't know foxes could fly, but cool. Well, they technically they, they, they glide. Do for Batman. <laughs> well, the actual flying fox it glides <laughs> more than, or I just think it kind of flies with it, li it flies with style like Buzz Lightyear. It's not really flying. <laughs> it's just falling kind of pretty just, with style, Doc. Yeah, you know. Why? Why was it a flying fox? Shouldn't it have just been a very large bat wing? Bat wing rodent. I mean, I don't know. Well, it looks like a it looks like a squirrel, but it's just got that long flap. Ooh. You know that it's almost flap under the arms. <laughs> No, uh -oh. Chester's gonna show up. He's gonna be like, "What?" Well, you never know. Have you have you seen uh, Beyond the Wire? Yes, yeah, called Beyond the Wire. It's an, another movie with with Andrew the Anthony Mackie. Is that his name? Is the Falcon guy? Yeah, that's his he, name. Yeah, he, he plays an android in the army. Oh. Mm. So, and that's mm. a pretty good one. I've heard of that one. And you think he's, you know, well, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil it, but you know, <laughs> I guess I always spoil it by telling you he's an android because technically you don't, you know, you know, he doesn't. They don't say in the movie he's an android till like twenty minutes in, but I think the the preview spoiled that he was a robot. But it's pretty, it's pretty good. Him and him and this uh, black kid have to go on this crazy mission behind enemy lines. And it's a whole "Do you trust me?" <laughs> kind of a thing. <laughs> As things get crazier and crazier and crazier. You know, I'm looking at this flying fox set, and I'm seeing why I didn't buy it when it came out. It was pretty expensive. I got it on super yeah. discount. Is the only reason I have it. Only reason. What? 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 Uh, what theme was it from? It's from Batman. Well, DC, but it's Batman Justice League. And Justice League in that category. How yeah. how how long ago did it come out? Uh that came out in twenty seventeen. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. Seven six zero eight seven. Yeah. I mean the Batmobile is looks just like the Batmobile out of the movie. The yeah. flying fox is not doesn't even come close. <laughs> <laughs> it's flawed in so many ways. Just, the thing that drives me the most crazy is there's no front door loading ramp and there's no back door. It's just an open build and there's no landing gear. Oh, and also Steppenwolf has red on him. Yeah. 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 So this must so, have been an early concept. So this is technically... The, yeah, well, this they, is the Whedon cut, not the Snyder cut. But the printing on the two Parademons is fantastic. Yeah, the Parademons actually look pretty good. And then the heroes look decent as well. Yeah, but no late printing on any of them except Wonder Woman because of the skirt. Otherwise, or and Batman. No, so too. But yeah, so yeah the cyborg. and Cyborg. So really just Superman. <laughs> yes. Well, or Superman. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't get that one. I bought a few sets. No. Oh, uh. Scarecrow Harvest of Fear was the one I bought a bunch of because of the tractors. Yeah, there's a there's a video on the minifigures read. Uh, for what? The flying pot? Yeah, yeah. I put it on. I put it on share. You can share it. Or not. Yeah, because when I was doing the live stream, I made you know videos that to go with it instead of having to. Do an actual review. I did a live stream review, and so I needed a video to when I yacked about it. But yeah, see, they got. And I wish there was something other than the stud shooter for that other arm. Yeah. Like there was like a clip on hand or something you could, you know, re transform him. And I like. It. I think is this the only Batman that's got a five o'clock shadow? Oh. I don't think so. I think that character, the DC Cinematic Universe Batman, is the only one with that. But I'll look. No. 
Now they they just did in a few sets. No way, that's the wrong one. Crickets. Let's see, where was this particular Batman face used? Oh, the the particular Batman face in the Flying Fox was only used in the Flying Fox. But then the, the there was another one similar to it used in other sets. It was on the that had, that had a five o'clock shadow. Yeah, the, it was on the Nightmare Batman, but then it was used. Okay. So either way, only only Batfleck has the five o'clock shadow. <laughs> no, it was it shape. was used. It was <laughs> Lego likes to reuse these prints, so it was it was also used in the Nightcrawler Tunnel Attack, which was another Batman. But then they used it in some of the 2018. Hmm. Well, that the Tunnel Attack that's, that, that's a that's a Batfleck movie too. Well, have then you they seen used the it. Justice League movie? Yes, I have. They used it in the app control of Batmobile and the Batman Brother Eye Takedown, which is a set that I own, and the Lex Luthor Mech Takedown, and a random foil small bag pack. Yeah, so they used it a few, a few places. speak all at once. <laughs> that that exciting again, huh? <laughs> yeah. We need to put something in the background then just for the <laughs> heck of it. For those of you wondering where I disappeared to for a half hour, I went downstairs, ate some pizza and watched a little bit of a movie. A little bit of a movie, huh? Yeah, but it was cold because it was outside, so I came back up. Hmm. Yeah. I also didn't plan very well. Was it like on the side of a building or something? Or what? Yeah, it was on the side of a building. And we didn't have any plates or cups for drinks or napkins. Wow, there's some serious but planning there. I grabbed the half a pizza I wanted to eat, and then I left. <laughs> Pretty much. Now they're all wondering, where'd the other pizza go? <laughs> ah, they had five pizzas. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Yeah. You know, I have to try and be a little bit social here. That's okay. I'm just probably tired, you know. And that's what happens. Yeah. That's what happens when I put too much on my calendar for the day. You know. Yeah, but I was very hungry today. I had to, I had to go down for pizza. I needed four meals today. I didn't eat a lot yesterday. You need that. You needed that second breakfast today, or something. Yeah, second dinner. Oh. Because <coughs> uh, yesterday, actually, I had a I had a migraine of all things, which is not fun, and it uh, it made me feel pretty bad. So I didn't eat a whole lot because I think I would have thrown up if I did. Mm. And as a result, I was extra hungry today.
Yeah, man, I'm riddled with cold. I have been for a week. Mrs. Brett went for the second injection and come home with a cold. After a day, she was better. After another day, I had a chest infection and I was in bed for three days. Then I got up for two days and, yeah, I'm basically getting better now, but illness is a bit of a pain in the backside, but it's my own fault. I will get better. Slowly. Slowly. Right, it's one of the things as you get older, it takes longer to fix. <laughs> What, they actually want to fix this once in a while? Are you sure? <coughs> I think Mother Nature liked us too much. I guess I should have. I guess I should have, you know, uh, brought something to auction off or something to make it a little bit more lively tonight. I guess. So. Just, uh... Oh well. Auction, auction. Don't say it too loud. <laughs> we have Willie in it. Yeah, Willie will come out of nowhere. I'm sure if I if I say it too loud. you be like, I heard something. Well, <laughs> you'll be like, that's why we don't say it very loud to make sure, you know. Mm -hmm. Not doing as many textures on this bad boy. <laughs> oh, man. Do not want to fall asleep on stream. <laughs> that, that's that's a bad thing to do. Yeah. I don't I don't usually fall asleep on streams. I have occasionally, but not for very long. No, I think I took that one week. I think I took a, a half an hour nap or something. I think last week I was, I think we didn't stream very long. And then I think I ended up laying on the couch and fell asleep on the couch. I was like, oh my God, I was going to play some Minecraft or something. And laid on the couch and fell asleep for, I think I short nap. And then I was like, oh, this isn't long enough. I went back to sleep and then I was out. So it wasn't very good. Didn't plan that very well. Yeah, I, don't know. I mean the nights when I have to bowl and everything else, and take a lot of energy out of me. So, we'll see. Probably won't go the full distance of four or five hours this week, unfortunately. So those people working on something that need all that time will have to, you know, watch an old stream or something. I guess. Let me go to like episode sixty and watch, you know. Brick Freak do his monologue of the Incredibles movie. That's always a good. It's always a good episode. Go back to nineteen or twenty, and that's I think when I first uh, started introducing the name of the stream right off the bat. Rather than having technical difficulties for the first ten or fifteen minutes of the stream. Because everybody loves technical difficulties so much. Oh, yeah. Those are the best. I remember um, back when I used to do streaming, I had, uh, I had technical difficulties on my birthday when I was trying to stream. So I ended up with like three or four streams, and I accidentally deleted one of them. Mm. 
It wasn't a very long portion, but it just happens. I think I've done something like that once or twice. I think. Deleted something I really hadn't intended on deleting, but. Yeah. I think when I get back home, I kind of want to do some streaming again. On my There's own streaming. Do some channel. of your own streams? Yeah, well. Yeah. If you got some big Ninjago sets to build, though. But yeah, I've got um, streaming. I've got the Catamaran Sea Battle. That one's sitting at home. Then I'm going to have the Tremor Track Infiltration as well, which I won from Thick. That's pretty good. Got two things to build. Hmm. 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 Wow. Already starting to zone out already. What time is it? Gosh, it's only nine. Man. Yeah, one of these days, I guess I'll have to get a, to get a co-host so I can like disappear for half an hour or an hour. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back in a little bit. I need to. I need to go do some stuff. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sorry. That's, that's it. I'll give you in. You've done it. Huh? All right. You're I'm out. I'm calling it. Oh, is it. It's ten past three in the morning over here. Uh, Thanks for having me on, Reed. Yeah. Take it easy, Jay. Doc, night, always night. a pleasure. I shall catch you guys later on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. We shall Bye be around. Bye. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Hopefully dreaming of a, of the Lego castle getting bigger and not, you know, being invaded by, you know, ice bears or something, you know. <laughs> That'd be for a terrible dream. That might be closer to a nightmare, actually. That's, you know. Yeah. It it, I guess it depends on if the ice bears actually give you a quarter and actually, you know, are friendly in your surrender. So, yeah. Depends on the circumstances of the invading force. Mm -hmm. Intentions, reactions. Depends if you have any good resources, you know. If your resources are already depleted and stuff, well, the enemy, enemy might not want to stay too long. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This could be a shorter episode. Somebody was saying no from the background, but uh, sorry. Yeah, they're, they're having discussions in the hallway because apparently that's college kids like to do that. And that's where you just telling me, you know, sorry, but if he wants to end his stream, he is going to end his stream. Mm -hmm. Nothing you can do about it. Oh, that's uh, it's starting to hit like a ton of bricks. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! Oh man! Yeah. Yeah. Back in um in the fall, I used to be on on the bridge brick streams a lot. In the afternoons, those were like Friday afternoons. But I was always really tired Friday afternoons, so there'd always be like a portion where I'd mute myself, and during that time I was muted, I was just falling in and out of consciousness for a little bit. Hmm. And then I'd come to and I'd unmute myself and go back to normal. Hmm. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Starting to hit. Starting to hit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Might only be able to do two and a half hours this week, man. This is uh, this is pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. 
I guess I should have taken a nap after my work day today. I could use that a lot more than anything else I got done today. And clear plates. <clears throat> I would imagine you don't want to drop those since they're difficult to see. Yeah, especially on a tan floor. It doesn't really it doesn't help too much. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah, we might be in we might be ending this at about two fifteen or nine fifteen actually. This is getting kind of and kind of hard to do. I blame it on being all clear. I mean, clear floor with mm -hmm. clear walls with clear details. <laughs> That's going to yeah. give you a headache, I would think, after a while. Well, I'm not doing as many extra texturing. They usually do the texturing with the headlight bricks, but because it's an inside, it's the stem, it's not going to be anywhere where... It needs that extra th three dimensional. So um, you can't you can't even use junk filler brick because it's got to be all see through. So every brick you use is an actual brick brick. Well, and all of it's hollow anyway. So that's the kicker. Is it's it's there isn't really any solidity, uh, you know, solid matter to it. So you're right. You can't do that. Now I guess I could build a, a smaller castle or something and. Maybe use some darker colors so I could actually maybe do hide some stuff, but uh, we'll see. Actually, that's what I was kind of, like I said, I was maybe thinking of doing that, but it's just, thank God I didn't start on that. My brain would be j super jello by now. So, might do that. Maybe build something small for the for the contest. Maybe, build a, maybe a small, a small clear castle, like a small one the size of a, a kind of almost like the old keep, but maybe a little bit more radically styled, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Might do that. Might play with that a little bit. Almost like a Black Falcon uh, castle or something of sorts, but with uh, built out of the translucent stuff. Should make a rain I should make a rainbow, like all the, you know, all the, all the rainbow sets everybody builds, you know? Yeah. Do it like a rain, rainbow translucent. Uh, but are there that many different colors in all the parts? I mean, it's one thing that there's, you know, bricks, but are there going to be, you know, slopes and one by twos and every other? It would just, it would look like, it would look like what I would have built when I had been five or six years old with just lots of different. Oh, so you just use randomly place them. So I thought you were going to like make it stripes or to be like, you know. Mm, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I got a lot. I mean, you know, they had the the trans neon green two one by two bricks on the wall recently, and they've had some other stuff. So, I mean, they. But you're right. I mean, do they have like you know in one by two trans plates? Are they going to have a one by two and a one by one in red, and a one by one and a one by two in green? And like that, I don't think they do. Yeah, Not as much, anyways. So. Could start to get really expensive too, just because you know. So, I but it, hey, I did get I did get a little bit of my uh, of my stem. I got to the right height, 
I got the front. I just got to do the back. And I'll have the doors in there and the doors, or at least have the the archway. And this to that clover, that when you say yeah, the stem, it's yeah. going to be the lower part of the clover. Okay. Uh, it'll be the it be second second floor, actually, which means I just messed up the whole thing. Gosh dang! <laughs> I don't need I don't need the doorway on the upper floor because it's going to go to the open. But that might be an easy thing to fix because I can put a window in here. So the window might be that. Yeah, that'll be easy to fix. I didn't think about that. I wasn't thinking. I was like, oh, it's a second. It's a you know, I'm just building another level, and I didn't think that. It's like, oh, that's right. I don't need the you know, I guess they could have an entryway, but it, walking out into the out into the open space, you know, falling a flight down might not be. the 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 medical team at the castle might not be super appreciative that I have right, built well, a flaw into my flaw into my castle so early. That's in the that's for a that's for avian patients. They can fly in and out without having to you know go on the ground. It's, mm. You know. Mm. Because I know there are Chima people with wings, so they could fly out that. And fly away out that door. Mm. Just be like, it's for us. Yeah, that might, that might, yeah, that could, yeah, that would work. I just need to pull it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do either, but okay. Or you can build a fire escape and be like, this is an emergency exit, you know, emergency exit only. Emergency exit only. Like the, oh, come on. I do like the sound of that, other than the fact that, you know, I don't think everybody will use it as an emergency fire exit only, you know. I just <laughs> yeah, you use know, it your I, own I, risk because it's on the second floor. <laughs> you know, I, mm -hmm. I have the ice bears have been pretty well educated, but you know, unfortunately, I don't think they're all super bright individuals. Unfortunately, you may think they are, but you know, they're ice bears, so they aren't all they aren't all super bright. Unfortunately. So sometimes, huh? So he's like, sometimes they be tricked. <laughs> sometimes they are just not paying attention to what they're doing. And therefore, they can cause, see, look at that. Look at how magical I am. It was an entryway a few seconds ago. It is now a window pane. So do you light up just the bottom and the lights are powerful enough to like shine up through it all or does every floor uh, get yeah, lights? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, for the most part, I mean, I need to make sure that I make the um, base thick enough so I can lay the cables in, you know, okay, the cables in there. I just usually just lay, just run them in through there and lay. I mean, on the last couple versions, I just, I lay them in there and I had uh, the, the mills were actually thicker so I could just lay them in there and then the, they would just still be recessed so the clovers would still sit on top. It wasn't super bright. I mean, it'd be nice to get um, – Amazon had some LED lights that were, you know, like a big square type thing, and I, I need to yeah. get – I need to see if there's more of those that I would fit underneath, almost like a spotlight type kind of thing, but I don't know. We'll see. I mean, you know, the lighting up is – the lighting up the way it's always been is kind of getting old. I might have to try something a little bit different to make it a little bit more unique and more realistic, I guess, per se. Well, that's going to be a lot of lights. Well, a lot of small lights, you know, uh, flickering ones for... Uh -huh, uh, little uh, torches and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be torches. cool. Yeah, but the castle's a lot smaller now, so... In the Good end, night, Moto. Night, night. Yeah, I think I'm getting I'm getting there at least for nap time anyways. At nine nine twenty I might not be, you know, ready for bed bed, but might need a little bit of a nap, you know. Thirty minutes or something will refresh me a little bit. So Yeah, no, I mean the lighting up, I mean, is always <laughs> super bright and everything. And so I don't know, maybe I'm kinda you know, getting to the point where I don't really need that. Oh, look at this. Really? Right as I'm getting ready to, like, you know, maybe go to bed? It's 9.15. Why would you be going to bed already? <laughs> well, <laughs> taking taking a nap, you know. Hey, Jay. Hey, Doc. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Hey, Bob Shanty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Kevin, isn't it? It's Kevin. <laughs> it is. It's Doc, right? It's Doc. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've seen you on a couple of times, but I haven't made it on in time while you're still here. So, well, good to see you. I haven't been, yeah. 
Well, I haven't been all, <laughs> half the time I'm not here. Mentally or, only, or physically? Well, physically, and then half the time I show up at like at the very end, you know, the last oh, yeah. half, last half an hour, half forty five minutes or whatever, and when Reed's gone long, <laughs> yeah, know. yep, and that all that all depends on what Reed thinks long is for that particular night. Particular night. Right, just like the sooner he doesn't like start at the same time all the time either. So sometimes I'm like, is it what time does it start? <laughs> is it? I usually just yep. wait to see it's when it's on, then I check my email. I'm like, okay, now, now I, let me click on I, the invite. I start out at the same time every week. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I guess mm -hmm. generally in the same region. I mean, you know, I start I start looking for it at a certain time on Fridays. <coughs> unless me. unless I have a bowling, uh, we'll say unless I post something saying it, you know, I have a I have a delayed start. It usually starts at seven o'clock every week. So, have you ever live streamed bowling? Yeah. Uh, a matter of fact, I did do it on Hoosier stream a few weeks back on this Thursday. Oh, spare us, Reed. <laughs> I, did, I think I did, did did okay that night. Nothing nothing compared to like last night, but did you wear a Gro GoPro or just had the camera sitting in the back? Oh, the camera was just sitting at the, it, at the table. A Gro GoPro on your arm as you bowl would be great. Yeah, watch the ball. Especially if it was like somehow could hover above the ball and follow it down the lane. <laughs> on a little drone or something. <laughs> you, need, you need a drone, yeah. I don't think that technology is readily available yet. Oh, well, we have somebody better call up Stark. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they use the, they've used some of the indoor <clears throat> drones a little bit. I mean, they've done it uh, at the bowling center or stuff a few times. That's been pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> especially see you know, if everybody bowls all at the same time. You know, it'd be kind of cool. Some of the things you could do with it. Well, I mean, in the end, I think he, you know, I, I think he flew up and down the, the the lanes and a few things just for, you know, asking to help out, you know. Yeah, that'd be, be a, it's gonna be annoying when they put speakers on drones, you know, in a restaurant that comes buzzing to your table. It's like, do you need any assistance? It's like, get away, robot drone thing. Uh huh. You're like, dang. Hmm. Yeah, it's like on the one hand you want more robotic stuff, and on the other hand it's gonna be like they're gonna drive us crazy, <laughs> 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 trying to help us. We like we stop already. Yeah, help us slash well, help <laughs> save money for the uh, person yeah, that's for, trying to serve us. Yep, whoever. <laughs> So what was the last set you built, Jay? Um, the last set I built was the Ninjago Epic Battle set, Jay versus Serpentine. Epic Battle. Yeah, it was, it's those little ten dollars sets. Oh, okay. So, because each one is like supposed to like represent something from a, a yeah. particular season. Or each something. is from a different season. So the Kai one is from the pilot season. The J one is from the first season, the snake season. The Zane one is from the season three, the Nindroids, and then the Cole one is from season five. So you don't you don't think they'll do all fifteen or however many seasons? No, are? they. I would really hope they do seasons two and four, but I would also completely expect it that they just skipped it over. Oh, they were just like, "Hey, we just had because, an idea. Here's some thing." Yeah, I have a feeling that they'd skip at least one of those two seasons. Because, I mean, they already use those characters, but it's like there are so many characters on the show. It's like if they did one from every season, this way you could also get a lot of characters that people are like, oh, we never got. Or what, and kind of like make it a, it'd be like a Ninjago CMF line, but not really because it's an actual build yeah, or whatever. I mean, and so you could add other they, characters, you know. That's how they did um, the Pink Zane. They just snuck him in with an arcade thingy yeah. because they could and people right. wanted that character. Yeah, well, and technically, if it wasn't the suit on sale at the gamers market, it wasn't. Yeah, you built the was, character as the other way. Yeah, it was for a hundred credits, and it was a suit you could buy. And yeah. I think it appeared briefly in the show in the background. That was they they walked by. Probably was back there. Yeah, but 
you know, it ultimately Lego just stuck it in there because it hadn't been made and Lego fans have been demanding it since it showed up in 2012. Yeah, it was in an episode, wasn't it? He wore it the whole Yeah, it was thing. an episode <laughs> episode 5. Lloyd uh washed Zane's suit with Kai's suit and the result was yeah, pink pink suit. <laughs> and then Lloyd supposedly got it clean, but it turns out that Master Chen had his associate sneak aboard the Destiny's Bounty, swipe the pink suit and just replace it with another white suit. Oh. So then some bad guy that wear the the pink suit? There was there was nothing special about it. It was just, you know, an accidental wash. It was just a suit. Yeah, I mean it was all um it was all Lloyd's little woo set Lloyd up to just play a bunch of do a bunch of bad things to the ninja and blame the other ninja. Oh. So what, what was it? Uh, I'm trying to remember the order. So Cole, Cole, in quotations, beat all of Kai's high scores on the video game. Uh, let's see. Jay messed with Cole's whatever he was making his food. He dumped a bunch of spice in it or something. Jay, Zane fixed Jay's training dummy which really just set it to a really difficult level and beat up Jay. Mm -hmm. And then Kai washed Zane's suit with his own. That's how the suit turned pink. And then they all pointed at each other and argued. And then Wu was like, oh, it was Lloyd. And <laughs> the only reason Wu resorted to that was because he couldn't find his lesson book, which coincidentally Lloyd had stolen. <laughs> so he was right on one count. <laughs> <laughs> but then that that little lesson about rumors came into play later because the ninja used it to make the serpentine divide because Pythor was trying to unite them at the time. But oh, then okay. the ninja just shouted into the crowd a bunch of mean things. And then it also turned out that the pink suit helped Zane disguise himself. He just laid up against a billboard that was pink. <laughs> so he splendid in. And then and the serpentine being the very intelligent individuals that they are could not spot him. Well, well we can just say that snakes have a specific visual range perhaps yeah. and that's why he was to, able to To be fair, it was the constricti and they spend most of their time slamming their heads against rocks as they burrow. So, <laughs> okay. They probably aren't the most intelligent. <laughs> if, I can't, if I can't see very well, that's why they burrow that way. <laughs> and then the whole dividing the snakes proved to be completely useless because they just united the tribes the next episode. Well, it, well hello. It's, it was just a plot. It was just yeah, a plot just complication. A, it's just the lesson about rumors. Because after all, it is a kid's show. They they gotta have a lesson. They gotta have lessons well, well, in there. Exactly, and we can't take away the action either by like, oh look, we talked our way through it. If, that, if that's the case, <laughs> we shouldn't be the ninjas. We should be diplomat. It should be diplomat go show, you know, instead of you know <laughs> diplomat go. Yeah, so that was the history of the pink ninja outfit. Okay, I was I was hoping it was a little more crazy, a little more and to then, it. And then this year in 2021, with the Legacy Set Tournament of Elements, we got three more Elemental Masters, which was nice. Oh, as you mean as characters. So which characters, yeah, technically, which characters haven't been in many... Have we got a Silas Borg? No, no, we haven't gotten him. Well, we got an Overborg, but that's a, a bit different. That's not, we, haven't got yeah, any, that's, yeah. we haven't gotten a regular Cyrus Borg. Exactly, just that's what we a, need. Tech upgraded Cyrus board. Yeah, that, no, that's no good. No good. But everybody else, pretty much? All the moms, yeah. dads? No. No. Because that's pretty much well, who we haven't seen, right? Just would the, just be the mom and only, dad character, the support characters. The, the only one of the 16 elemental masters in the Tournament of Elements that we haven't gotten in Lego form is Camille, the master of form. Which is funny because she can look like anyone. Yeah. <laughs> But does, just, what, does, does she have a regular form so that you know that it's yeah, her, she has, I guess? She has a regular form, but then they just never made it in Lego. Okay. Yet. I, she would have been good to put in Ninjago Gardens rather than another Clutch Powers. I'm still salty about that. 
Okay, but wasn't Clutch... Clutch Powers has been in several seasons, though, hasn't he? Well, yeah, but he was in a minifig pack that was, like, what, $15? And then they put him in a... They waste a spot in a $300 set with him? Right, but she's only... Well, I mean... <laughs> she's and she's only a, been in, in, what, one thing? She was in one season. I mean, Clutch has... I would argue that Camille has done more than Clutch has. <laughs> well, I, I, as Clutch's agent, it's not about your character doing more on the show. It's about who's appeared more times. My client has appeared more times on well, the show, he and appeared therefore is in, a bigger guest star, and so should get a spot. <laughs> he appeared in... In Jago Gardens. I don't, I don't know. know. But is, wasn't he in the latest one, too? He helped him get to yeah. the island, I thought. Yeah, too. Yeah, he was in the island where he did absolutely nothing. Right. Well, I think that's probably Except why he was in steal there. the amulet. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably why. It's just... Advertising, you know. They're like, yeah. hey, let's just use him. Let's use him now while we have a chance, you know. Yeah. Kind of like probably... the Looney Tunes for the whole basket or Space Jam that's coming out. Yeah. I mean, more likely than not, they just still had the parts available. No. So they just were like, oh, we have the parts available for this. This is easier. And it's going to be in a new season. But why not? Yeah. Yeah. But it's anyway. Just, it's just cheaper. <laughs> other characters haven't we gotten? We haven't gotten a lot of the elemental masters from the Serpentine War era. Which I don't think enough people care about. Well, I care about them. But right. So when you got... say elemental masters, it's just like, is I thought the ninjas... Well, the, the five ninja elemental are, masters. So what the other ninja elemental are masters elemental masters, are masters but there are more elemental masters. There's more than just the ninja. And they all so there are other people that have fire power or ice power no. or whatever. Well, or do they yes. have other elements that we don't? They don't. Well, well, there have been previous elemental masters, but then there's oh. also other elements. Okay. And uh, the way I've seen it described, at least in some places, is that there's primary elements and secondary elements, and most of what the ninja wield is a primary element. And then the other elemental powers we've encountered are more secondary elements. All right. And, I the guess. Spin, I and then the spin jitsu is a wholly, totally separate power. Then. Yeah, that's a skill that they learn that works best with elemental powers. Okay. But people who don't have elemental powers can learn spin jitsu. At least they couldn't earlier see. So like uh, Misako, no, sp no spin jitsu, even though she never does it anymore. And um, Dubloon, who is one of the Sky Pirates, he knows Spinjitsu. But he was only ever in one season, so it doesn't matter. Right. It was just something cool. Right, they said that the bad guys could pull out when they were like, oh, we'll just get this guy with Spinjitsu. And he's all like, ha ha, yeah. I know that I too, mean, fool. <laughs> the Sky Pirates was really just a mismatch of a, a bunch of different characters. So it was cool that one of them could do Spinjitsu. One of them could do Spinjitsu. One of them was a Serpentine. One of them was a cyborg monkey. One of them was a giant brute. Okay. One of them was a really good shot until he wasn't, but then he was. And then that giant timeline. brute, that's that that's that big orange guy with the yeah, dog samurai shape. helmet. Yeah, that I have that yeah, guy. She. Oh, it's that's a lady. A she. Huh? Uh -oh. Yeah, that's a lady. Oh dang, okay. Yeah. But yeah, I have very few big figs. That's one that I have because I got that airplane. I thought there was an airplane-ish kind of a thing, and then Wu was in some sort of a balloon. Yeah, that's Tiger Widow Island. That's the <laughs> one the dog shank came in. Yeah, and the air was the airplane thing. Was that the Sky Shark or was that it was before? it was red and it has a guy in it that has a peg leg and a band green bandana. And I'm, you know his face got a printed mustache. And I think that airplane was red. Well, that um, it's. Or was like it orange? Orange, or was it orange, just orange red, and brown. Know. That was Flintlock. He didn't have a peg leg, but all the other stuff. Okay. Yeah. I, he's probably mismatched at this point because I saw yeah. him the other day because I needed his headband. <laughs> he was mm. he was the only one that I'm like I didn't want a red headband. I'm like he's the only one I know that has red has non red headband. Because <laughs> every other pirate that, I pirate that I have, have they're all red. So I'm just kind of like everybody else yeah. like red, red. Okay. I'm like I'm like did they not wear anything other than red? <laughs> no. Green <laughs> brown. I'll have some ice cream, just FYI. Yeah. I'll also have some ice cream. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but there's um 
the orig- the previous elemental masters we saw in like flashbacks from the Serpentine War. Those are ones we don't have a lot of, particularly Jay's mom, Jay's real mom, Jay's real dad. Because oh, Jay's so adopted. Seen... Oh, adopted by who? Ed and Edna. The uh, the parents who live in the junkyard. Okay, and he, Ooh, what living, he living in a junkyard sounds like fun, yeah. man. I like mean, Re- Revelation came later, whatever. Yeah, it came in season six, Sky Pirates. That's when he finds out he he wished it, but then it turns out to be true anyway. Oh, I think he he wished that he was adopted because no, his he parents w- made him mad, or no, he wished that he was that he could provide for Nia because he thought that would help her like get back to him because they weren't together at the time. And then he gets a letter that says his father has passed and he's inherited lots of money. And it turns out his father is Cliff Gordon, the famous actor who plays Fritz Donegan. <laughs> and then his mother, who we see later in season seven flashbacks, is the previous Master of Lightning. She doesn't have an official name, but they called her Liber Gordon. But she, was, she wasn't at the father's funeral because didn't he... Because didn't no. he go to his father's funeral? There was no funeral. It was just Jay gets a letter and then he goes to a mansion. It was a wish. But then it gets reversed, so I guess he's not actually dead in the current timeline because that timeline never happened. But then Jay knows. Jay and Nia ended up remembering it, which was the side effect of Jay's Remember final it? wish. The entirety of season okay. six. So then his parents... This junkyard parents admitted that he was actually adopted, or they looked at him and they were like, "Dude, that was just some crazy dream that you had. We are your real parents." I I don't entirely know, to be quite honest, because they never said. Okay. It's possible he <laughs> talked to them about it. It's yeah, quite especially he hasn't. as soon as he received some sort of letter saying your father's dead, I would think I would go to I the think, junkyard and be all like, "Dad, are you here?" I <laughs> and think he'd be he like, "What?" Still considers Ed and Edna to be his parents. Well, yeah, he knows him. that his real parents are out there, <clears throat> but he considers Ed and Edna as like his actual parents because they raised him. Yeah, they've been there through thick and thin. They were just like, what? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then Kai and Nia's parents appeared one in one set because they the, showed are up. Are they blacksmiths or something? Yeah, and they're also the masters of fire and water. And then now they're appearing in the current season with new suits, so hopefully we'll get those new suits, but... When no they go underwater, because yeah. I've only seen them on the island, and you know, bad guys weren't really bad guys, yeah. and we found the, out um, other bad guys. The new season, Seabound, is starting to show up on on YouTube. It's the first two episodes are out there. Doc has muted himself. So I will pause in the Ninjago discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose your train of thought. Reed, did you get the blacksmith? Sh- or um, what was that called? The Dragon's Forge? That was the one with the fire water dragon. Mm-hmm. For elves? No, it was Ninjago. Uh, oh, I see a Charles and a Dude Jude. Hello, Dude yeah. Jude. Hey, Charlie. Hello, Dude Jude. I think Dude Jude's still been here. Just didn't chat for a bit. And what was it called? Dragon's Love Forge. It. Horrible to read the chat, so you know. And then more recently, well, Cole's dad has existed for a while, but they never made him in minifig form. And then Cole's mom was recently in season 13 the flashbacks. Right. I don't, I don't think they'll make her. And then there's Zane's father, Dr. Julian, who Legos just never made. And I actually ordered a custom printed one. Because I want that character. And the custom printed one was only about $20, which I thought was pretty good. And what's custom? You got a custom face, then custom torso, front and back. Yeah. Print, does it have printed legs? 
Yeah, he's got like a little bit of printed legs. He, there wasn't much detail on the legs, but they printed where there was detail. No, Dragon's Forge, I never bought that one. Mm. And then, of course, for Lloyd, there's versions of his parents out there. Plenty of Garmadon, a couple of Misakos. Yeah. We more... More recently, with the elemental powers, we found out that wind and water are technically not under the first Spinjitzu Master's domain. Hmm. That he, uh, that they are under the control of a evil spirit called Wojira, who was mentioned in the island, and the island was kind of like precursor to what's happening in season fifteen. Right. Well, I think they needed the island so they have a base of operations to go diving under the water or whatever. Yeah, that because that catamaran's pretty wonky. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, they they had to to set up some of the things that were going to happen in season fifteen. And uh, I was saying that the, like the if you saw Godzilla episode. versus King Kong, you you, mm -hmm. you don't want to hang out on a boat. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, we have an yeah. island. <laughs> yeah, but I was, I was saying we'll do whatever. Then when then we go back. The first two episodes of season fifteen. Are on YouTube, Doc. If you, they're out there somewhere. If you can find them, and then uh, I think the next two episodes should be coming out this weekend. So, the new season's starting to roll out, which is good. And I'm, yeah. Well, some and it's like what? It's like Lego and they're like TV or video, or whatever what you want to call it. Their distribution model is just like the weirdest thing. It's just kind of like, okay, this time it's going to come out in the Philippines, you know, the first time. And then it'll come out everywhere else a month later. And this time they're like, we're going to let it come out in France first. And then we'll let it come out everywhere else later. And then, you know, I mean, the monkey kid made sense. It's going to, it was in China first and then everywhere else later. But it's just like they just pick these random countries and they're like, all right, you, random country. No. You get the show first. <laughs> you just know like that, that it's not going to be the U.S. Yes, and that's just like dumb, and it's just kind of like <laughs> it's just kind of like it's like yo, release it in the U.S. And when you release it in the U.S., you need to release it in multiple languages so everybody from around the world can enjoy it in you know the five major languages or whatever. It's just like just stop this. <laughs> I'm just glad that it's coming out early somewhere because this is, I think, the earliest a season has ever come out. Oh, okay. I mean, it's come out before the sets have been revealed, so. And there hasn't okay. even been an official trailer. There was like a teaser trailer, but that was part of the network that was airing it. The only real information we've gotten is a poster. But now they're just airing the season. Yeah, well, exactly. So it's like, all right, here we go. Yeah. It should be pretty good. Yeah. I mean, so far, Seabound. That's what it's called. It's um, it's been good. The first two episodes were great. I and watched the, the sets, third episode in French. And I thought the sets were matched the show pretty good. I mean, way better than last season sets, which were kind of like, eh. <laughs> you're like, which what, season? What? Master of the Mountain. The one with Cole is the main one. But yeah, yeah. You know that one was just kind of like the sets were just kind of like what, especially that yeah. mech. It's just kind of like yeah, that the mech. mech was God, it was only like, modeled after the version of the mech that appeared for like two seconds. In the show yes, it, it should have been the on. other one. And that's what it I wanted. Been. And I'm just like, and, what is yeah, this? Yeah, that's, that's why I haven't bought the Firestone mech. Because it didn't happen. Exactly. I didn't even recognize it. I had to go back and watch the show to even go, oh, was this even in the show? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, there it is. You know, the dungeon and the dragon both appear in the show. And those are pretty well represented. Yes, and they're pretty well priced for what yeah. you get. You know, so it's just kind of like, all right. That's another thing I always love about Ninjago, even though people are like, yeah. especially when people like say, "How can Ninjago still be going after all this time?" And I'm like, "It's, it's because, because of it's, the, it's price. It's, it's price. good value for what you get. Yeah, and it's not overpriced. Like well, Monkey Kid isn't overpriced, but it's just more expensive. Yeah." It's m way more expensive. Well, it's like, just like even like compared to city sets, especially the number of minifigures you always get in Ninjago yes. sets compared to everything else. I'm like, if you're a kid and you want to play and have fun, Ninjago, cheap Ninjago set is the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I mean, like, and another thing with Monkey Kid is that it's not 
anywhere else but Lego stores. I mean, yeah, I hate that. How often are you going to be at a Lego store if you're just an average parent walking around? Right. Especially if you live in a small town and you know yeah. the big store for you is Target, you know, or something. It's just like, come on. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's why Monkey Kid. Everyone's just like, oh, Monkey Kid was going to kill Ninjago, but it didn't happen. No, no, there's no way. I think it could only strengthen. They can only boost each other. Because uh, yeah. I think the internal, you know, the rivalry or whatever with A Falls is going to get them to like sample the, we got to sample the monkey kid, <laughs> you know, and then I'll go back to my Ninjago, you know, or whatever. Or the people that just love the Asian theme is just going to be like, yeah, I got more and more Asian things to like, yeah. you know, add to my collection. So, I mean, it's just, and, it's and that's not too expensive to add Ninjago to your collection. That's the other exactly. part. So like, I mean, yeah, they produce a lot of sets, but you don't have to get them all. I mean, I do, but. Well, you, you don't have to be me. You're an Ninjago well, I, fan. And I don't get them all. I learned that, like, oh, I can skip these now. Over time, I learned that. Like, I've skipped the Firestone Mac. I don't know. I kind of want to get it now, but I'm not sure. Still deciding. <laughs> uh, Zane's Mino Creature, that was an easy skip for me. I never liked the look of that one. Did you honest. get all, the, all of the gold? All gold figures? So far. So you got all sets that have the gold figures, or you just ordered the gold, some yep. of the gold figures? I've gotten all the sets with the gold figures. One one of the reasons that it's legacy sets. I buy all the legacy sets anyway, except for the four plus stuff, because oh, oh. I like oh, it. Yeah. Like, well, unless the four plus set has some it's like has a character that has there's nowhere yeah. else. That's gonna, that drives yeah. me crazy sometimes. I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah, that's why um I bought one of the junior sets back in the day for um. With that new version of Lasha. Lasha. I don't know if you pronounce Lasha. And then there was another one in the other junior set from 2016, Zoltar, who I ordered off Bricklink last year. Weird versions of Serpentine that showed up. Yeah. And then. Yeah, because sometimes yeah, I, mean, I look at those sets and I'm like, oh. But now it's like the, the four figures. plus. The four plus figures, like. Some of them can be exclusive, but they have no exclusive parts. Like uh, yes. the Jay and the Electromech is technically exclusive, but not really because all the parts appear in other sets. Same with that two-armed Garmadon. It's just the four-armed Garmadon minus the extra two arms. It's oh, the so the print, the, the, the print and everything, okay. Yeah, everything else is the same. So you could just have that figure by taking off. <laughs> taking off the portion. extra arms, yep. Same with the J-Fig. You could just take off the hair and half mask and put on the regular legacy mask. You know, the, that's the one complaint I have about the legacy sets. It's that a lot of the figures are just repeated. Like a eyesore. And then they just repeat. They just use the certain characters because it's easy. And the ninja versions never really change either. They've only had a couple legacy versions. I really like that Legacy 3 Zane, though, the one on the Titan Mac, the new one. And I can't wait for the other versions of the Ninja like that to appear. I think those are going to be good. So how many Legacy packs going to be this year? Well, I think, um, well, there's the, however many have come out this year. Is that four? If you include the Junior set, five, four plus, and then, um, there's going to be another four plus set in the summer. It's like a the Destiny's Bounty 2.0, but it's a really bad one <laughs> because it's four plus. I mean, I saw the um, the leak picture preliminary image, and the sale actually looked pretty decent. Like it's one of the more decent ones, but it's also a four plus set. And then we know that there's going to be two more legacy sets at least. In the summer wave, there's going to be the Ultrasonic Greater and the Fire Dragon. It's like there's like twice as many sets this year as last year? Yeah, it's roughly around the same amount, I think. Really? It's yeah, they, they might be a bit more expensive this year, but it's also the 10th anniversary, so they're rolling out a lot. Oh, okay. Well, that might, that might just be why it seems like there's tons more. Oh, yeah, and there's... Or... How could I forget? The Overlord. The Overlord Dragon that never happened but did happen finally. Oh. 
the legacy set that isn't actually based off a prior set. It's just based off an old thing. <laughs> it's just based off the past of Ninjago. Yeah, that they never bothered to make. And I really hope there's going to be more of those sets in the summer. But if there are, they haven't revealed them yet. Oh, you don't think it was like, yo, it's technically, a, they're like, it's technically a legacy set because we were going to make it before, but it got canceled. So now well, we're making just, it again. <laughs> they know. have to put legacy because it's from season two. There's nowhere else to put it. Uh, okay, that makes sense too. I mean, well, unless you broaden overlook, the definition of, you know, what they mean by legacy sets, yeah. then maybe. Yeah, it's just, you, in all other examples, the legacy sets have been based on a prior set. Yeah, and it's just like upgraded version, right? Yeah. But yeah, uh, so, so now if they broad, broaden the category, so now it's now it's the chance to yeah. get things so. that they said before that we never had. We go like, well, you can make it now, then. Yeah. So I'm really hoping they do more of that in the summer, and we just haven't had them revealed yet. If we um if we end up getting the season 15 wave in in June, I think it's quite possible that we could get a third wave later in the year, with. The uh, the legacy sets that haven't appeared in Lego form uh, at the end near the end of the year, perhaps a, a Borg Tower. That's what everyone wants. It's a Borg Tower. Yeah, they've been asking for it for years. Yeah. I think if they did, they'd probably end up doing a playset. But I think I'd be okay with that because right, it could think, be uh, it could be, they could do a small three story little thing. You know, yeah, be... like it doesn't have to be the greatest thing ever. I'm not expecting it to be. I just really want the Borg minifig. Borg. <laughs> and then uh, Pixel, a legacy Pixel would be nice. Yeah. Because Pixel is such a difficult character to get nowadays. She's only been in a few sets. Yeah, I think that's what everybody really wants. It's just like, no, we want the build, the special we, build, and a, and a print that says Borg Tower, <laughs> you know, we, and we, we want, want the characters. Set, we want a set that hasn't happened before that should have, and we want characters that haven't happened before that yeah. should have. Greedy, greedy, greedy. I see how you guys are. Yeah. We, our, us Ninjago fans are spoiled. Exactly. And we know Lego mm -hmm. likes to sell us stuff, so hey, just like yeah. pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. People are ready to buy. Yeah, but the Lego's not always the smartest. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like they, they're going to disappoint everybody May the 4th once again. They they really did. Even with Ninjago, with that, that Lloyd quad poly bag, they did that at the worst possible time. <laughs> they did that af too long after the January stuff had been released, but right before the March stuff was released. So for us hardcore Ninjago fans who already bought all the Ninjago stuff, what were we supposed to do? Yeah. It was well, it's just annoying. Well, I think they're having that they're having their whole supply chain problem. I mean, they can't even put together a you know a satellite poly bag on time. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just kinda like the fact that they can't whatever it's like whatever, whatever. Yeah. I just uh, you know, it makes me kinda glad that Ninjago hasn't had any like serious promos. Just because Lego would find some way to screw it up. Yeah, <laughs> well. But I'm like, fine I'm with trying. the golden figs being spread out in sets. I'm going to get them all anyway. Yeah. Well, especially because if you're not going to get them all, if you're, you know, you can buy one of the 19.99 cents and you get one of the, or you have to get at least 29.99. But, you know, to at least get one of the golden figures and be like, look, I got one, you know, because not yeah, everybody's get, a completionist, you know. You could get your favorite one, just get the set that you like and end up with a golden ninja. And of course, there's also Wu, who's like fifty bucks. Yeah, and they saved him for whatever. Just like everybody thinks that they're gonna—they're saving the Golden Dumbledore for some sort of they late are. release it's DLC, gonna and they're gonna go D two C. They're gonna be like, here it is, Gringotts Bank, the bank you all have been complaining yeah. about for it's twenty years. Be here it is, <laughs> giant Harry Potter set, like Diagon Alley. I would love if they and, just did like, look, we re redid the entire Hogwarts castle again, <laughs> just to screw with and, you. <laughs> <laughs> they redid the, the UCS yeah. one and then just yep. put gold Dumbledore in it. Yep, exactly. Oh, like, there we are. <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> That'd be like a kick in the pants. They'd be like, hi, you guys doing? <laughs> no, we're Lego and we don't care. <laughs> 
Yeah, because they, they still haven't announced uh, any May the 4th thing yet, have they? Yeah. No. They're going to announce it two weeks before it comes out, like they do everything else. Yeah, and then, you know, the, all the leakers are keeping their lips tightly shut, too. Yeah. If they know anything or not. Yeah. Of course, they always say they do when they don't, just because, hey, you know, it's all about the mystery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I am a leaker. I can't say I don't yeah. know something. Yeah, you know, that's part of the reason I'm kind of getting out of Lego Star Wars now. It's because they just, they do so poorly with it, I feel. I mean, yeah, they produce all these UCS sets and nice things, but, you know, they, they reveal it in such a short amount of time in between revealing and release date. They don't yeah. give out good promos anymore. There's barely any figs in most of the sets. And a decent amount of the vehicles aren't very good either. So I'm, I'm getting out of the Lego Star Wars. Let's sell off my stuff. Yeah, well, that's just kind of like the Lego Star Wars is okay. It's like, eh. Yeah. You know, it's Lego at least says too, the I feel decency. like this is too much now. Lego at least has the decency to give Ninjago good sets, good figs, and a decent amount of respect that I can continue buying it. But I don't feel as if that's there with Star Wars anymore. Well, Star Wars is it's almost like it's not just it's like there's the Star Wars line, you know, the X Wings and the Tie Fighters and your you know your Bespin duel and all of that, and then I feel like all of the busts and everything else and the Darth Vader picture. They're trying to like turn it into an ultra line, and at any point, I'm just waiting for them to go. Oh, look! Here are the Ninjago mosaics and the Ninjago busts, and here is you know a bust of Clutch Powers, and here's the mosaic of you know the Don't police chief from the city, and <laughs> trying to turn it all into one big super giant. You know, they're they're trying to do everything adult with every stuff line. too. Yeah, with every which line, which is why. Like, hey, which is why I don't think they're going to do it with Ninjago, because ultimately Ninjago, while it does have adult fans at this point, because some of us are they older now. Yeah, they grew up. It's a kid's show, and it's targeted at a kid audience. Yeah, they've got stuff kind of for the adults, but it's got to be targeted towards kids, because that's right. just what Ninjago is for. Well, then that's when you make little brick sketches then of ninja faces. <laughs> Buying the brick sketches. I think after the first brick sketches, they figured out that those were a bad idea. Well, I always felt like the brick sketches, they should have came out with the brick sketches at, and they had a, at a lower price. That's the first problem with the brick sketches. Yeah, they were 20 bucks. And, and then should have like targeted them like, yo, mom and dad that's buying the giant mosaic, you know, the little kitties can build these other little whatatevers, you know. But Just they kind of like bundled they released, them together. Like, look, they're together. You get these. They ones released the, kids. the brick sketches first, right? Yeah, the little tiny ones. I thought. Yeah. So, like, what was the point? Yeah, and everybody hated on them. They were like, Ur. I mean, yeah. a couple of them are okay, but you know. Yeah, they they didn't appeal to me enough for me to want to buy them. I just thought they were too tiny in order to be considered really art. Yeah. You know, to be like. Displayable it's more just like which is a thing like, a kid could put on a desk. Yeah, but other than that, it was just kind of like, eh. But like the yeah. Marilyn Monroe or the Dar the big Darth Vader, especially put all three of them together. Now that's an yeah. impressive. Now that's an impressive piece of art on the wall. So yeah, and it's also an impressive cost. Yeah, heck yeah! I just love how Ninja took he got one and then he was able to make the two by yeah. shrinking by shrinking them down the you know part of the picture down. I was just kind of like, oh look at you. <laughs> I mean, they gave saving it. on the bricks. Oh, bye, Reed. I guess Reed had an, I guess Reed had an internet problems after all. Well, you know that means that the stream. <laughs> <laughs> he was stream thinking won't, he, stream won't end. He was thinking after. he wouldn't because he got a new router, but I guess he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, because like, I guess I'm leave, in charge now. Yeah, I mean, it, so as soon as we leave, it'll, it, I mean, it'll stay running, and so it'll show all night yeah. that it's running until he comes back in, and turns yeah. it off, turns it off, even mm -hmm. though there's nobody in here. It's yeah. kind of like that day when he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, and we right. just, yeah, we left, and then I checked back, and a few minutes later, and he had stopped the stream. Yeah, woken up because we were yelling, trying to get him to wake up. Mm -hmm. All right, there he is. He's back. Oh, I hit something on the computer and I freaking killed the computer. Oh, probably going to hit. Huh? The internet. No, I 
I made the mistake of hitting something on the Explorer and it just <laughs> the whole computer just locked up. You didn't see me just go solid for a minute there with a dumb look on my face? No, you were gone. Just vanished from the stream. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I rebooted my computer. I mean, I but I sat there for a good five minutes listening to you guys talk and saw myself frozen like a bump, bump on the logs or whatever. So I think I'm going to end the live portion, though. All right. We're getting bye, the bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Everyone, bye.